Gow. Gow. MYSTFG gal, MYSTFG gal, MYSTFG gal. Hello everyone, how's it going, and a welcome, welcome to a brand new week of streams. Yes indeed, and um, it's not quite the Valentine's week yet, but you know, we're definitely feeling up the Valentine's, even as is, because you know, FQNA. Valentine's event, and it actually uh, finished uh, today. How about that? Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, and of course, JP will most likely get it next week with the actual Valentine's Day. Funny how that works. We were a bit early, but you know what? Honestly, it works for me. Now I don't have to like worry about stuff overlapping too much. So yeah, uh, last week, I want to say, was pretty good. Besides Saturday, which was, you know, uh, kind of riddled with technical difficulties and some sort of health issues. Uh, every other stream that week, I felt, was nice and good. So, you know, it wasn't a perfect 10. But it was pretty good. Also, who the hell requested Wanted Dead or Alive? I haven't heard this song in years. Oh my god. That's pretty crazy. It's like the only Bon Jovi song I actually like. That's crazy. Anyway, good toots. So, hopefully, yeah, uh, this week will be really good too. Potentially some big stuff this week as well, actually, yeah. Because uh, it's seeming like we're going to start the tier list this week. How about that? Only bro, yeah, I don't know. Van Jovi never really did it for me. They're mostly just like pop rock that you know, I don't know. You either it's a band that you either like like or don't like. <laughs> I'm more on the don't like Bon Jovi camp, but you know this song is good because I have a lot of nostalgia for it. Playing it in Rock Band too, very nice and fun to play on the guitar. Uh, will I stream Starlet this week? Well, clearly you did not see my weekly schedule, uh, and if you did, you would know the answer to that, which is, uh, yes, I will, actually. I bet you were expecting me to say no, but yeah, I am. I am gonna be streaming Starrail tomorrow. Got a bunch of stuff to do, so I figured, you know what? Might as well do another stream on it. Maybe even some gacha, we shall see. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, today, uh, FGO day, of course. Now, on the menu, I really thought about this. Originally, I was probably going to do free-to-play, Valentine's farming. But I'm not going to lie. I kind of just want to bing chilling on my main. I just want to, you know, farm away, just have a nice time. Just most likely, talk, like, mostly just talk to you guys, you know? I want to have a nice, chill stream where, you know, we're just talking about whatever. I feel like that's a great opener to a week. Like, ease into it. Maybe even some JP stuff, because I have buffs to do there. I haven't done most of the uh, 
buffs that were released in the past week or two. And who knows, we can maybe come up with other stuff too, if needed, but NA already as is has, you know, definitely my work cut out for me with the uh, farming. Um, so yeah, I think that is the game plan today. Go. Go. Did I know there's an Anastasia battle tomorrow? No, but I knew it was going to happen at some point during the Valentines, because, you know, they kind of do that every time. All right, first of all, Sleepy, thank you for the 22 months, and welcome back to the Go Gang, and also just now, Hidel with the two-month resub. Uh, very nice of you to resub. Big welcome back to the Go Gang as well. Much appreciated. Uh, Oh yeah, we even have buffs today, speaking of which, and I already put out a video regarding those buffs. And if for those that missed it, they buffed uh, Seisho Nagon and Murasaki today, and the original 5-star variants, aka Archer and Caster. Skill buffs to both. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, so if you missed it, you can check my video on it. It is up uh, right now. Now, before we begin, again... I might as well mention it because it's still like there until I think at least Friday, if not Saturday. But yeah, we're still ha the sponsored uh, collab is that or the campaign is going with Star Trek Fleet Command. I already did the stream on Friday, but you know the this campaign is still running. So if anyone wants to help out, exclamation point star in the chat. There's a link for you. You can click on it. You can download the game for both PC or mobile. Both are absolutely fine. No worries, whichever you prefer. And um, yeah, if you, on the top left of the screen you see like some milestones. If we ever for every one of those, I get paid more flat out, like for every single one of those. And the first two, from what I played myself on Friday last week, you can do them in less than an hour easily. The ten one might take you a fairly longer while, but you know some people have already hit level ten as well, which is very awesome. And I did say that. If we hit enough, enough level 10s, I'll do a cooking stream as well. Uh, originally, I said I, I'll do it at 20, but I wasn't sure how long it was going to take. So I reduced it to a 10. So if we can hit 10 before this is over, which still there is, there is still a few days left. Hey, go. there you go. Again, some people go. said they want to support me, but they could never, you know, do it monetarily. But hey, this is completely free. So if you have some time in your hands, there you go. There's a good free way to support your boy. All right. Also, hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice entry there, Dragon. <laughs> good, good way to segue from that segment, I suppose. Hey, thank you for the 17 months. And welcome back uh, to the Go Gang. So yeah, I, I'm probably going to mention that a few times in the next you know, few days of me streaming when it's still up. So hopefully no one minds. And uh, there it is. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, they're, they're in the game. Just if you want to, if you want quick tips, just do all the missions they give you. Like just keep following missions as they give you. They're like the best way to progress those, and just use the free currency that lets you like you know skip waiting on development. Quick tips. All right, let's do this. So yeah, uh, I was in such a hurry to start. I did not even. Uh, connect my phone yet because i was kind of daydreaming a little bit and then i realized oh wait i'm supposed to go live in like three minutes so let me connect my uh, phone right now well hey i saved some battery i guess ain't that nice yeah okay here we go let's connect also i need to mute the in-game muzak hello man how you do with that and hello everyone. Hello, hello. Hopefully your hump days are good. Whether you are a student or working or some something in between. Hopefully it's a nice Wednesday. There we go. Alright. Is that Hana can I hear there? I think she's somewhere in there. I don't know who, who, all the singers, but I think I hear Hanakana in there. A working student. Yeah, you never know. I, I actually, a lot of students are having like part-time jobs and stuff. So yeah, kind of, you know, it's a thing that happens. You finish sleeping in your online class. <laughs> well, that's not good. 
Oh yeah, we have these quests as well. So are these for points, I guess? I haven't done a single one of them yet. I assume these are for the uh, ladder points, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know though. I'm not I didn't I never checked. So I assume once you have, you know, a full party of point CEs, they're probably good to do. So we can knock those off at some point. I would like to get one CE drop though cuz I still don't have one. So I can fill a full party with CEs. So here's hoping we can get that today. Now we do have the 90 plus now as well. Opened today after you beat the main quest. We sadly don't have the CQ, which is at top here. Like, even though the main quest is over, this unlocks uh, tomorrow, basically. Or tonight, depending on your time zone, I guess. But for me, it's tomorrow. Oh, it's not Kana. Oh, really? I thought I heard her, but okay, maybe it's someone who sounds like her. So, what is this? This is a 133 on the 90 plus. I'm sure we can figure out some kind of a comp for it. And it seems to drop everything, including points, so this is pretty good if you need everything like I do. Probably better for me to filter for the MLB point C, if anything. Because I do have some gacha Cs myself, and if I had to guess, the ladder takes longer to complete than the shop. Unless you're buying every single thing from the shop. Yeah, I think you do get a guaranteed MLB later down the ladder, Sleepy, yeah. I, I think you're right, it was like 1.8 million. But I'm like 500k or 600k in or something right now. So, you know, that's not for a while. Would be cool to get it before that, uh, obviously. But, you know, at least it's guaranteed eventually, granted you farm enough. And good luck with your stuff, Fawaz. Hopefully uh, not too stressful. All right. Let's see, I want to be able to use as many waifus as possible, of course. So let's see, can I make my uh, free quest farming setup work, which is this one? Let's see if I can make this work. Maybe not. I'll probably have to plug in something, because, you know, I'm using, like, big starting gauges here. But, you know, I'm leveling the plug anyway, because every other Mystic Code is maxed, so it's not like, you know, it's, uh, it's necessarily, like, not doable. So... Yeah, let's see, let's see. Sadly, don't really have uh, any body rank for Luvia yet, which... Well, a little bit. She's D, but, you know, would help with the damage, I suppose. Okita at least has some uh, body rank. That's nice. <laughs> oh, you MLB as soon as you get a drop? <laughs> well, it's probably not the end of the world, but yeah, ideally, you probably want to, you know, farm the ladder first. Hey, thank you, King. Put support on very last. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Although... I'll, uh, yeah, I guess I will be plugging the support this time. So yeah, in that case, you're right. Otherwise, you probably don't want to do that if you're going to use them. <laughs> obviously. So I think we can probably make do with a Castoria... Or, hmm, let me, so it's, this is 30%, right, on non-MLB? Yeah, it is, okay. So we're, I have 50% starting gauge because of the uh, appends. Interesting. So how do we make do? I think Castoria makes sense, but... Yeah, I guess I, guess I can bring my own. I'm not going to be spamming too many apples on this anyway, I guess. So, you know, it's fine to bond her a bit more. How am I today? Uh, I'm pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's happening, like, in, you know, outside of the streams as well, both related to my personal life and work. So, you know, I'm, I'm fairly, a little bit stressed, of course, but I'm also excited for a lot of this stuff. So, yeah, um, I want to say mostly I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. Stress is just a given, you know, whether you study or do a job or whatever, you know, there are times when you will feel that. Now, uh, I will change... This is though. So I can farm a little bit of the other currencies as well, because I still need them. I think this is pretty good. Just, you know, small bonuses to all of the other ones. There goes the doctor about the eyes. I did not yet know. I feel like it was probably just a momentary thing. That was, you know, just me being like, being too tired and, you know, staring at my screens for too long or something. Need to need to get some sunlight. <laughs> it's probably fine. But if it if it happens again, I think I will definitely, you know, get it checked. So I think this might work actually. Yeah, this should be fine. 
Actually, now that I think, yeah, I could bring a support, but I mean, you know what? Honestly, let's do it like that. I think it's better for me to bond my own Scotty rather than Castoria. Even, <laughs> funnily enough, my Scotty is also very high, but I feel like Castoria is the easier one to bond anyway. Yo, Aboria, thank you so much for the seven months. And welcome back to the Gil Gang. Also, it's easier to find a Castoria, most likely. Not that it's hard to find Scotties necessarily, but yeah. Hello, Ryan, how you doing? Alright, I think this should hopefully work. Yeah. Let me check, is he bond 5 yet? He isn't, okay. <laughs> I completely forgot to bond some of the reset servants, so I'm getting their bond to 5 now. Whoops. Yo, this music sounds interesting. Oh, it's PGR, huh? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, Scott, hey, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Uh, let it go, track hat. Hey, that's good karma for the uh, good Bon Jovi song, if anything. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, dude. Um, so, yeah, we can just do something a little like this. How good is Bazette in this note? Uh, you can probably make her work. A Mintern would probably be quite it will require some doing most likely but might not be too bad <laughs> so yeah valentine's huh that's a thing Oh yeah, speaking of which, because yeah, again, next week, literally a week from now, on Wednesday, next week is Valentine's Day, right? And it seems like that's when JP Valentine's will probably start too, which is, you know, slightly unfortunate for me, because I actually do have some Valentine's plans this year with, you know, my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> but luckily for me, uh, we're doing stuff later that day, so I can pro when the event goes live, I can probably do an early stream? Like a small one, just to cover like maybe the new servant and that's it. Like a, a mini stream. Like originally I was gonna take the full day off, but you know, I, it's hard for me to say no to do content as well. So yeah, we can probably do a something, but yeah, uh, after that, I'm just gonna take the rest of the day off. Also, might take off Thursday next week. Because the plan was to spend two days with the girlfriend, and we were thinking of Tuesday and Wednesday, but obviously that doesn't work, because I would do, like, you know, work on Wednesday morning now, so we might do Wednesday and Thursday instead, you know? I feel like that makes a bit more sense. So Wednesday morning, just do my work stuffs, do the coverage of the content, and then after that just hopefully have a nice time. I think that's the game plan. <laughs> Taking the Rin Ducky for a date, yeah. Gonna go have a, ni a nice dinner with the Ducky. Imagine if I walked into a restaurant with my body pillow. That would probably be something I, you know, uh, I would probably have nightmares about for the rest of my life, if I had to guess. No biggie. Probably because of all the shame. Would I think this will be this New Year's Valentine's Servant? Uh, I'll tell you who I don't think it will be. It won't be Tamamo Aria. If it is, I'll be so surprised, okay? I know a lot of people have copium because of it, but I seriously doubt they would make two events in a row with Samurai Remnant Focus. I can't see that happening. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against her. She's, she's nice and fun, and because I've played SR as well, of course, but I just don't see it happening. Like, two Samurai Remnant featured servant events in a row, I don't see it happening. I do think she is very possible for a future thing, but very heavy emphasis on the future thing, right? Not anywhere in the near future, necessarily. So, there you go. I honestly don't know who the actual servant is gonna be, but I doubt it's gonna be Arya. Oh, Jax is up early. I assume you just woke up or something. 
Uh, about who is sleeping? We had Yamato to use one of the area. Yeah, but New Year's is not really an event, though. But I, I do get what you're saying, that it kind of was like two separate SR things in a row. But it's still like, it's like, it's just a celebration thing, not an event per se. What the hell? Somebody's calling me. L apparently you guys can't see it, luckily. G shout out to my phone for having good, like, notification blocks that don't go through the uh, capture card. Yeah, someone just called me. What the hell, dude? <laughs> I'm working. Don't call me when I'm working. Also, it was an unknown number. So I don't sound too much of an asshole here. Probably someone wanting to sell me something. Like usual. Hey Sadek, how you doing? <laughs> it's Aben Jose made for Valentine's. Yeah, of course, that would be the perfect event. Perfect timing to release him, of course. Makes a lot of sense. I'll bump the volume down a little bit. There we go. That's probably better. You still have an installed Hia. What is a Hia? I'm not sure what that is. It will be four Japanese servants in a row. Oh, interesting. Audio is dying again. Oh, it is? No way. Is it actually? Okay, which audio is it? Is it the game or the music or what? Are you kidding me? It's the game this time? Really? Bro, I thought we were over this fucking thing. Doda. Oh, that is unfortunate. What did I do last time to fix it? I don't even know. Maybe it just fixed on its own. Dude, that sucks. That's still, that's still happening. Fuck, man. Like, the new PC is like 10 out of 10, but man, I'm, I just can't solve these audio issues that are happening. That is weird. I don't think it's not peaking the audio. No, peaking would be different. It's some kind of, it's just broken in some way. And it, it's not, it, it changes on what breaks. Sometimes it's like my capture card. Sometimes it's my system sounds, like everything, like normal other games. Sometimes it's the music that's playing. Like it keeps changing. Like what breaks is so weird. Damn. Uh, you know what? Let me just reconnect the capture card. We'll see if that helps. I don't think it will, <laughs> but I might as well try. Mm. Unfortunate. No, oh, this song sounds spoopy as cocks. What is this? This also sounds familiar. Oh, it's this show that Miku watches. No wonder. Is it still broken, by the way? Well, you can't really hear too much right now. It's just mostly tapping, but yeah. Let's see. Just let me know if it's still broken. It's still broken. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay, troubleshooting. Dude, if, I don't know, man. I've tried so many different things. But... I don't know. It's still see some most. I feel like most streams now we there's zero audio issues, but occasionally it just keeps coming back. It's so weird. I think it might be because I changed my audio setup a little bit for OBS because I didn't want my old shitty audio setup that I had on my old PC. But if this keeps up, I might have to set the same audio. And it it sucks so bad. It's so it's such an ugly setup. But at least that didn't really have like audio issues. God damn, I thought, because this one was way easier to set up, but I'm thinking this is also causing these audio issues, this new one. Mm. Oh, it's an app that prevents spam calls. I see. I guess it makes sense for those to exist. So let's see, it's coming through this channel, right? Let me check. Yeah, it is, okay. So why is it broken? I don't understand. Maybe I can refresh the thing? Desktop audio. What if I do this? Okay, that broke- that made it even worse, at least on my end. Uh, oh my god, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but Jesus. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Holy shit.
<laughs> that was even worse. <laughs> oh my, now I heard what you guys are hearing probably. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Dude, why is it so broken, man? Why you gotta, why you gotta be like this? Mm, I, I just don't know how to fix it. If there even is a way for me to fix it. I'm trying to look at Windows audio options. More sound settings. Why are you broken? Hmm. At least, we, at least the music's working, right? Hopefully. <laughs> so, you know, it's not all bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna disable all audio devices that I'm not using. Just in case they're fucking things up or something. Can I disable this thing? Will this break something? Let's see. Okay, so if I press the thing now... Do we still have audio? We have audio. Is it still broken? It's fine now. I assume it might just be a coincidence that it probably fixed itself, you know, by just, you know, not doing anything. That what I did just now probably didn't really alter it. But you know what? I can hope that whatever I did maybe now prevents it in the future as well. It's probably gonna come back at some point, though, is the reality. But if it works now, we're just gonna go with it and just hope it stays like that. No jinxing allowed. Okay. Okay, so what were we talking about before the audio issues? I already forgot. I don't remember. Hmm. Valentine stuffs. Oh yeah, I ended up uh, buying something for my girlfriend for Valentine's as well. I it. it it was hard for me to decide though, but I ended up going with sub uh, merch from some of her favorite thingies. Bought two things. Nothing weird though. <laughs> pretty pretty not pretty cool and wholesome stuff actually. Take a guess. It's not it's nothing crazy though. So pretty basic stuff. But I thought they were, they bo bo uh, the two things that I bought both looked pretty nice. <laughs> Girlfriend reveal win. I don't know. I, who knows when I'll cross that bridge if it ever even happens. Again, if it's completely up to her. If she ever wants to be on the stream, then you know what? I'm not opposed to the idea. But if she doesn't want, then obviously I'm going to respect that. Wow, it's a gay ball gun. Miyazaki film merch? No, but that's not a bad guess, because she really likes uh, Ghibli stuffs. In fact, when I was on her place, uh, on Monday, Tuesday, we watched some stuff and uh, we watched a Ghibli movie. Basically my first Ghibli movie ever, now that I think about it, because I think I saw some, at least one or two of them as a kid, but that was so long ago, I have no memories of any of them. So I basically it was my first time watching a... Ghibli movie. And yes, it's pronounced Ghibli, okay? I know a lot of people think it's Ghibli. It's not. It's Ghibli. Ghibli would make more sense to me as well. That's how I used to pronounce it. But apparently it's Ghibli because in Japanese they say Jiburi. A J sound, okay? Not Giburi. It's Jiburi. So Ghibli it is. Funny how that works. So yeah, uh, what I ended up getting her was a plushie from Kingdom Hearts. It's one of those sh shadow creatures, you know, the enemies. It's, it looked very cute. I got one of those because she likes Kingdom Hearts. And then I bought a big ass mouse mat that has really cool art of the cyberpunk anime on it. 
because she likes that series. Also, we finished that too. That was another thing we watched. We finished that series as well. So I got those things. It's a big ass mouse mat too. Like it's one of those really big ones that are really wide. It's bigger than my own mouse pad, if anything. Mine is just a square, a big square. It doesn't like cover most of my desk. But I like it like this. I know a lot of people like those huge mats, but I've always used one of these, so I've, I've gotten used to these. What do I think of the ending? Well, they definitely it wasn't it wasn't that much of a shocker. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into spoilers or anything, but yeah, the last few episodes definitely made it clear what the ending was gonna be like. So it's not like I was like shocked, you know, what happened happened. It was basically to be expected. Right. But honestly, I thought it was a good show. I enjoyed it. I don't think it's like a masterpiece or anything like that, but I had a nice time with the show. And honestly, it was nice and short, 10 episodes, right? So, you know, you can't be really mad about it. Like, it, it was a nice, tight package. <laughs> oh my god, Ryan, Jesus, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, it was pretty good. I haven't even played the game, by the way, for those wondering. But it was still pretty easy to follow what's happening. Oh, I read it. I gave it a 7 out of 10 on my anime list. Not a bad score because I actually use the full range from 1 to 10 and not just like 5 to 10 like a lot of people do. So a 7 is not a bad score at all. That's a thumbs up from me. The game is really good now that it's fixed. And yeah, now that I have a new PC, I should really get it at some point and actually play it. It's been on my, you know, to-do list for basically ever since it came out. Mm. I wonder when Okita hits uh, body rank EX. That's the highest, right? From what I remember. If she will uh, have enough damage for that final wave. <laughs> Remember to get a nude mod as well. Yeah, of course. Priorities, dude. It won anime of the year. Well, I assume only in some place because there's probably a bunch of different anime of the year, you know, awards. Not just a single one. I mean, I can kind of see why it would because it, it's definitely one of those that appeals to a mainstream audience. Those usually tend to do the best. Like, a more recent example would be Bocchi the Rock. Like, it's such a mainstream example. Of a, uh, you know, a show that basically anyone can get into. No, like, there's, like, no strings attached, no nothing. You, anyone can watch it and probably have a decent time with it. Damn, Crowley, uh, show on the doll. Where did, where did Cyberpunk hurt you, bro? You're, like, really obsessed about, you know, bad-mouthing the show. Where did it touch you? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not the biggest Studio Trigger fan either. Like, I've only seen like maybe two or three Trigger shows. But, you know, um, the Cyberpunk at least was pretty okay. Honestly, all of the Trigger shows I have seen, I, I have enjoyed them all. I don't love, like, the, the shows, but I have, I thought they were good shows, you know? So even if the studio isn't really up to my taste, at least the ones I've seen were, you know, not bad. Have I read codes in Star Rail? Uh, I think so, yeah. I got a bunch of stuff. I actually haven't seen Kill la Kill. I only watched the first episode ages ago. And then I just didn't continue for some reason. Not, it wasn't bad or anything. I just didn't continue. <laughs> it's just, you know... Got dropped on the back burner. Yeah, watch Darn and the Franks. I have not. I probably wouldn't like it. Because I love Evangelion so much. It would probably feel like a, you know, a bad version of Evangelion to me if I had to guess. But maybe someday I'll check it out. Oh, there you go. She got EX. Nice. So it's 50k EX, I guess. Seems to be the case. Wow! They're best buddies, but still friend zone, am I right? 
Audio bug is back. It is again. Are you? And it's still. The, is it the game again? Not the music or anything. Really, dude, that's so stupid, man. Oh, is it the music this time? Which one is it? Does the music sound fine right now? It's probably the game, isn't it? Dude, game was fine. Wait, what? Okay, let, let me press this button and see what happens. Hmm. Was it the music that glitched out this time? Hello, Yohei. Oh, if you hear something, just let me know. <laughs> and I can try my best to at least change some things to maybe fix it, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, it was only just a moment, so you couldn't tell what it was. Okay. So it was like really fast one this time. Spooky. Starlog. I like Asterism more of the Prilia songs, but this is, this is not a bad song either. I actually used to like this more, I think. Funny how that works. Do you think it's my noise suppression? I think it's it's like I'm using a specific kind of like third party plugin for OBS to get my audio sources now because it's the easier way to like, you know, separate th things into their own audio tracks, which means I need it to like, you know, remove music from the VODs. My previous setup was like a whole software that altered the audio setup of my entire PC and it was so stupid, but it worked, but it was such an ugly, bad setup. So I was hoping I didn't have to do that again on the new PC. So I opted for like an OBS plugin instead, so I don't have to mess up my whole PC. But it seems like this plugin is, um, well, it is called a beta plugin, so you can tell there's probably some quirks to it still that, you know, need to be ironed out. Sadly, but I, I I read some of their like uh, GitHub discussions about it, and it, it, this problem has existed for like a year now or something. And even, there was even comments about it like a week ago in one of the threads that they still haven't like solved it or something. So I don't know. It sucks, but because this would be such a good easy solution for the um, separating you know stuff on their own audio tracks, including the music. This is like this is so easy to do. But if it doesn't work, I will have to probably change my audio setup then, sadly. To not such an ideal one, but something that at least works. Yeah, we should be getting a Karen banner, right? They probably do, they do like all the Valentine's servants every year, right? Around Valentine's. Like some are like before the event, some are af like during, like into the event or some maybe like be after or something. Next week, yeah, there you go. Hey Salamander, how you doing? Oh, it started with this Valentine. Oh, makes sense. Kind of nice that, you know, they're all accessible like that. Oh no. So is the music broken now? <gasps> oh no. Okay, let me uh, let me hide it for now so I don't have to listen to it. Okay, so it's the music this time. Okay, fuck. Man. I don't understand why it's like that. Oh, it is the game? Okay. Shit. So it's happening a lot with the game right now. Why? I'm gonna try something on the fly, I think. Not sure if this is gonna work out though. So I'm gonna go here, make a new one specifically for the game audio. Maybe this is better. Actually, I don't even know what the audio is, the source is. <laughs> Shit. Oh no. 
oh, fuck it, this doesn't even work, does it? It doesn't detect my capture card. Oh my god, it's so, dude, it's so fucking jank. Man. I hate this. I hate it. Why, why? Are we gaming? Well, it's on pause right now while I'm trying to fix the audio. <laughs> but trying, you know? But the music is working, right? So, you know, okay. It's not a complete disaster. And the mic, hopefully. Doesn't make any sense to me, dude. Does not make any freaking sense, dude. I don't know what I can do, honestly, that would fix it. <laughs> I don't, I might just have to go to a different audio setup after this stream. I think um, that might have to happen. It's gonna suck, though. Oh my god. Why is there- there's- it's 2024. There's still no good easy solution to this that's foolproof. It's so stupid, man. And El Elgato has like the best software, Wavelink. That's the best way to do it, if you want to do it like computer-wise. But man, it's so- they- they gated. You have to have a certain like hardware from them to even use the software. It's so stupid. Hey Elgato, wanna send me a stream deck so I can use your fucking software? God damn it, dude. Let's see, is it, is it still broken? It probably is, isn't it? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Mm. It is. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll just play on mute for now. You know what? At least we have music. It's like, think of this as like a lottery stream. We'll just not have game audio. Fuck it, dude. There you go. How about that? We're just gonna vibe to the music and just talk about things. There we go. <laughs> You'll sing for the chat. I mean, no, the, the, the problem is the music is fine, right? The game audio is the problem. But thanks for the offer, I guess. <laughs> you can do voiceovers for the skills, yeah. <laughs> True. Dude, I'm gonna sneeze, I think I'm so close. Mm. <coughs> there it is. Damn, the delay though on that sneeze. Whoa. Wait, Daryl, is the music broken too? I thought the music is fine. I thought the only issues we've been having is the, uh, the game audio. Please don't tell me the music is, you know, broken too. No? Okay, I don't know why he pinned that comment then. Interesting. I mean, just let me know if the music breaks too. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't. <laughs> really hope it doesn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Aren't we all broken? Yeah, true. God knows I have my own issues, you know? Yo, it's full and, uh... Oh, that's nice. Hey, dude, thank you for the 31 months and a welcome back uh, to the Gal Gang. Hopefully it's a nice laptop. Awkward, I chose my shoe. Dude, I shouldn't have put her the support on the last slot because I'm always using I'm always used to switching three and four, not three and six. Fuck. <laughs> this is probably still fine, maybe, although my damage isn't lowered now. Awkward. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> yeah, we just have Mashu do the deeps. Easy. Here we go. Farm motivation. 
good. So yeah, um, good chance that uh, first tier list of the year for the servant classes is, is this week. I was, I think I was gonna mention that earlier, but then you know stuff happened. Because <laughs> uh, originally I was like, maybe it's not this week in case mm, JP Valentine's drops on Sunday. But they're probably just gonna reveal the servant on Sunday with the stream, and then the event itself will start on Wednesday, right? That seems very likely. Because even today, they post the, with the news, they said it's mid-February. So again, Wednesday would fit that better as well. So, yeah, we might just be starting the tier list like originally planned on Sunday then. Wow. Surely it won't be chaotic. <laughs> well, it probably will be, but honestly, it's fine. I've gotten kind of used to do, uh, doing them now. Having done them many years now. Oh, wow, my damage just tanked. But look, watch this crit. Oh, that was Scotty Dabbage, though. It's okay. It's still a four turn. Um, let's go. Um, have I heard a VTuber cover of this? Uh, probably not. I don't remember, at least. Yeah, we're going to be doing them on Sunday now, for the most part. Instead of Fridays, because Plushy is not only, you know, working on his masters, but also working now on weekdays. So Fridays are kind of a no-go for him, at least on my time slots. But Sundays should be fine for him. Now, he might not make it every Sunday, of course. But, you know, hopefully as many as possible. And on weeks that he might not make, we can maybe even do it on Friday. I mean, I'm down for whatever, personally. Again, it's funny because it's only an audio issue with the stuff I'm sending, like via the stream and whatnot. Because for me, I'm I currently hear the game, and the game has always sounded good for me. It's only a problem on this stream side where where I send the uh, audio into. So like I right now I can hear the game fine. The fact that original composer helped with the song makes it so much better. Oh, I mean with the VTuber cover? Wow, fancy that. <laughs> From Soft Fridays are back. <laughs> so you just... Uh, the, the thing with you, Daryl, is that you just like the games, but mostly on Fridays? Is that what it is? <laughs> like, if it's a Friday and it's uh, one of those games, it's way better. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what it means, Ryan. So yeah, Sunday games and probably support review Sundays will be on Friday for a while, for a couple of months now at least. Because we're going to be aiming to do weekly lists again. And obviously there's going to be, what, uh, 10 of them? Wait, how many? Seven normal classes, right? Oh, it's nine. I can't count. Nine. There you go. So just over two months if we do them weekly. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's wave two. I'm like, I'm going crazy, bro. I thought that was wave one. I was like, where's my Luvia battery? It doesn't feel like it's that long. You mean the list, like the period where we do the lists on or something else? Hey, tired. Are you doing that? Did I have about the Hoyo Okada creator drama? Isn't it just like Genshin drama though? Isn't like every other game like just, you know, enjoying life? I thought it was just Genshin that's like on fire. I heard some things, I, I haven't followed it at all personally, but I heard like, you know, people are like, you know, yelling at each other. Content creators basically. You got the stomach flu? Oh no. That is that can be nasty. Get well soon. Did 
could I discuss narrowing the tier list to do Yudich thoroughly to get you an old collaborative? Honestly, I, I thought about it a lot, like if I was going to change the format or not. A part of me was originally thinking like, you know what, I'm just going to copy what I did last year and we're just going to adjust if needed. But I figured people still like the thorough lists. And honestly, I kind of like blabbering too. <laughs> so we're probably just going to keep doing them as I have been doing them all these years. Like, you know, cover every servant and then rank them and whatnot, you know? I feel like that's how it's going to go down still. But I thought about it. I thought about it. And obviously, they are getting longer and longer every year. So maybe in the future years, we might have to figure out something. But yeah, it's, they're going to be long. <laughs> they're definitely going to be long. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a given. If I had to guess, every list this year, even the shortest one, will be five to six hours minimum. So yeah, um, buckle up, boys. Auto surprise guest. I mean, I, we could probably have auto on too. Yeah. You have an exam tomorrow, so you'll be staying long. Okay, yeah, sure. That's fine. Good luck on your exam, bro. I mentioned you were going to think about it at the end of last year, so I was curious about it. Yeah. I had a lot of time to do, comp uh, you know, contemplation about it, but... Oh. That wasn't when I wanted to use that. <laughs> it's okay, though. But I think it's better to keep doing them the way I have done them. Because, you know, again, my even though it means obviously more work for me, because they are pretty long and thorough, uh, my motto always is, if it ain't broken, don't fix it, right? So if unless I see, like, a big deterioration in reception for the list, like, you know, let's say they do, like, twice the less views or something, over the course of the year this year, then I might, you know, that, that would be a sign for me, like, hey, maybe you need to do it, like, uh, in a different way, or do something completely different or something, you know? But uh, so far, the lists have still been performing uh, really well in terms of, like, you know, reception. So, again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> what are you talking about right now? All the, uh, the upcoming uh, servant tier lists for this year. Starting this week, most likely. Oh, did the music break now too? Are you kidding me? No way. No way, dude. Are you kidding me? No way, dude. Okay, give me... Oh my god. I was hoping at least the music would be fun. Hmm. Fuck. <sighs> damn. <laughs> damn, the damn, damn, damn. I'm going to unmute it. Is it still broken? Okay. <sighs> Why is it broken? Yeah, same, dude. That's, yeah. Great. <laughs> okay. Bro, I'm so ready to give up. Do I really have to go to my old shitty audio setup that I had on my previous PC? I have to, don't I? Dude, it's such a pain to set up to. It's gonna, it's gonna, there goes the rest of my day after today's stream. It's gonna be like take me hours to go through the old audio setup. Ah, uh, I don't want to do it. I'd do anything else over that shitty setup. Oh yeah, there's no TTS because I muted the uh, audio source that also includes the TTS. That's funny. I heard it though. It was pretty funny. Definitely a lot of calm was had on that TTS. Broken, huh? Very broken.
Yo, hey, someone got level 5 on the uh, on Star Trek. Yo, thank you. Whoever that was, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here for the tier list too. Uh, yes, he will try to be on as many as possible. Hmm. Dude, I want to unmute the music. Because again, I'm hearing everything fine, but <laughs> it's just broken for you guys. Let me look at settings in OBS if I can change anything. Oh, it doesn't even let me change a lot of the settings when I'm live. Well, that's awkward. Let's go default there. Does this do anything? Oh, but now it plays the all music through that, which is a no-go. Oh my god, I can't do that. I can't do that, because that's not isolated. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna unmute again, we'll just see if it's broken. I think it fixes itself randomly sometimes. Sometimes it takes a long time, sometimes it's pretty fast. <laughs> it's good, okay. Like, yeah, it's just, it's just random, it like happens randomly. And, it, and there's no pattern to it. It happens maybe like once every 20 minutes or not at all during a stream. And when it happens, it can last anywhere from between 10 seconds or like freaking 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't know. So it's weird. It's very, very weird. <laughs> Audio setup is gotcha too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cursed, dude. But it's true. Hey, Melo, how you doing? Wow. Well, that's an authentic experience, at least. Is this Imagine Dragons? Sounds like the singer, at least. So for now, at least for this stream, I'm just going to keep, you know, playing the music. And if it breaks, I'll mute it for a while and try again later. <laughs> and then after today's stream, I'm going to try and fix it, fix it again, which, you know, may or may not work. But, you know, I'm going to try stuff at least. I just don't want to go back to the old audio setup if I can avoid it. But if it's the only, po you know, thing that actually works, then, you know, so be it, I guess. Oh, speaking of bocce... Well... Hydration... Uh. How does that what I'm gonna do for Valentine's? Uh, yeah. I got her some gifts, and then we are gonna go have some dinner at a restaurant. Uh, and then just spend some time together like usual. Sounds like a nice chill time. Had to make a reservation in advance, so, you know, we don't go to a full place or anything like that. <laughs> so it's locked in. <laughs> Can't believe you get a girlfriend before a rice cooker. <laughs> yeah, I can see why you would react like that, yeah. <laughs> Fancy. It's not like su it's not like fine dining fancy, like no multi course meals or anything like that. But it is a restaurant, and you do do you have to make a reservation for it? But it's not like fine dining. Don't get like absolute crazy ideas. It's still obviously more pricey than like fast food places, and you know again it's you know fancier too because it's not fast food. So yeah, so it's like it's 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 decent, but not like. Crazy fine dining, you know, crazy. They had a nice looking menu as well. There was a lot of good looking options. I might go with their uh, creamy salmon option with like nice mash. 
Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I love salmon. <laughs> yeah, mash. <laughs> Obviously. You got buy loot on Black Swad. Yeah, welcome to my life, all the spooks. At least you're not getting only Ya and Ching, so you're st still probably better off, you know? Yeah, for the most part, Archivist. I got three copies already. <laughs> and I'm not even wailing in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, still no CE drop. I think I'm gonna hit the guaranteed ladder reward before I get a drop. Maybe. But it's okay, yeah. Uh... Your bottom 16% SSR luck? That's probably me as well, honestly. In Star Rail. My luck is not good. <laughs> Yo, this sounds old school. Oh, it's Undertale. Whoa. Surprised it's not Metroidvania. It's like the only song anyone ever plays from this game. But this sounds kind of cool too. Oh, Megalovania. I was thinking of the genre, my bad. <laughs> yeah, Megalovania is the uh, song. True. But it's an obvious reference to the genre, so you know what? I'm half correct. Your 450 quarts with no buzz it. <laughs> Turbo servant theory. <laughs> I don't think I know enough about you to make like a concept, honestly. <laughs> what would a Burbo servant be like? The uh, you would have some kind of a passive or skill related to someone reading your name, though, because apparently you have a fetish for that. That's that's like the first thing I remember. Or my, like, biggest memory of you when you first appeared in my chat. You just wanted me to read your name. Like, you tried for many streams in a row. You still remember, yeah, because no one else was that weird about it. <laughs> you, you've been the only one that was, like, specifically, like, begging you to, <laughs> begging me to read your name. <laughs> you could literally just say hello, and I would be like, hello, insert name here. But you were like, please read my name. Please read my name. <laughs> it was pretty funny, actually. But yeah, that's like the one thing I remember about you the most. <laughs> you did not. You did, though. You did. I Don't lie. I remember. <laughs> like, if I remember something, you can damn well assume it's true. Because I forget everything. So if I actually remember something, you know, it probably is true. Was there some sort of interview between... Uh... Nasu and the uh, Star Elder. Yeah, yeah, there is. People are getting already crazy theories, but it's just gonna be a dev uh, like interview. There is not gonna be collabs. I'd be so surprised if either way there is anything going on. Like obviously FGO to Star Rail is way more likely than Star Rail to FGO, but 
even then, I highly, highly doubt that's going to happen. It's just going to be an interview. But it might be a cool interview. There might be some cool things to read about. So at least there's that. Yeah, people were thinking like servant verse, uh, servant verse servants in like Star Rail. Because, you know, they're like cosmic and shit. So it would maybe make sense. But I still don't see it happening. But you know what? If they do it, then yeah, cool, dude. I mean, I, play, I still play Star Rail, so... Why not? At best, a light comb with some FGO art in it or something. Have they done like that at all before that, though? I feel I assume all the light cone art so far is just Star Rail stuff, right? But who knows? Yeah, they'll give Nasu hints on how to make a better gacha pity. <laughs> he probably doesn't have a say on how FGO's gacha works anyway, if I had to guess. I mean, he can decide on a lot of things for FGO, of course, but I doubt he can decide on the fundamentals that, you know, print all the money. Because they probably have, you know, people hired just for that, like, you know, to maximize money gains. Wednesday interview? I forgot. Was it even announced yet? Or was did they just do a, like, hey, this is happening at some point? Or was did they actually give a date for it? I don't remember. Maybe not. When's the Valentine's stream for JP? They're doing a, Ca a Caldea satellite station on Sunday. But they will also do the Valentine's reveal on that too, as far as I know. It's mostly going to be like guest talk. Maybe they'll do like a f some fun games and whatnot in person. Ma talk about, you know, the merch, other Nasu stuffs. And then there's going to be that small segment like, hey, here's the new Valentine's servant. Like the last, you know, 10, 15% of the stream. But it's going to be there, yeah. I'll probably do a YouTube live for it. It's very early on, though, so I have to wake up er earlier for it, but so be it. I'll do it. If anything, it would be the opposite, Gab. Because again, I'm pretty sure Nasu never wanted sex scenes in Stay Night. He only put them in because, you know, the game was probably not going to sell as much if it didn't have any sex scenes. Because back then, the only visual novels that sold were Eroges. It was just the ride, the big rise of the Eroge genre. Pretty sure he never wanted to put them in anyway. That's why they don't have any in like the new like Tsukihibes and whatnot. And... You know, because he doesn't need that anymore. He Now he's carried by all... His name alone will be enough to, you know, sell shit. Like Mavlov, exactly. Mavlov did the same thing. The sex scenes in that were even worse than Stay Night. So, yeah, exactly. They just put the bed because the game sold better if people knew they were Eroge, right? Because people are degen. Same reason... So if anything, he would tell them, like, please don't do them. <laughs> Who wrote it in his Takeuchi? I'm sure Nasu wrote everything, but he was, you know, if he had the choice, he would probably just go without them, of course. But he, he had to include some for the game to sell better. Takeuchi did the art and he probably wrote the scenes like everything else. You look as beautiful as ever. Have a nice day. Oh my god, someone just made an account just because of that. Wow, that is a, that is a name right there, though. <laughs> Maybe a name I'm gonna skip out on reading, but okay. Thank you, though. I'll call you 69. There you go. Because that's nice. I wonder who that was. Am I ever going to do FGO part 1 speedrun any percent? <laughs> it's such a dead category, right? Like, there's only, like, a... I, 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 one day, I just went and checked, the, like, the leaderboards. It's, like, this, the most popular speedrun submissions website. And there was, like, less than 10 completed runs or something, I think. Now, some of them, obviously, that have completed may have done multiple runs or something. Very possible. But it's not like there's many people ever attempting it <laughs> in the past. <laughs> How you doing, Luke? 
pretty sure Takeuchi had a hand in sub H since in OG took him at least. You mean like writing the dialogue or something? Because obviously he does the art. I assume you're talking about like the writing maybe. Does my account have any friends last, last left? Yeah, it does. But you're gonna have to farm some channel points or bribe enough money into my pocket because <laughs> I'm a certified sellout. But yeah, mostly uh, people use command points or yeah, channel points. I guess we call them command points, but yeah. You're the main Zerum by me. I mean, I did my best with the information I had, you know? <laughs> You're Burbo, the name fetishist. And you are a three star assassin because you're sneaky about it. Wow. Three? Yeah, I mean, dude, I feel like three is generous. Come on, dude. I'm a one-star servant, so I'm being generous by giving you a three-star one. I'm the one-star gotcha Avenger, you know? And you're gonna be the three-star name fetish assassin. What does the cringe command seal do on this channel? I think if you click on it, it tells you what, like, gives you a description of the uh, seal. So that should hopefully give you a good idea. You're a newbie. Well, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your time here. Wow. <laughs> the glamour of names. Ooh, that sounds kind of badass, though, when you put it that way. I still love that clip when I said that during the rolls. Wait, said what? Which line? There we go, he's five now. Now I can switch him to so what else? Wham. Oh, wait, I didn't know that, Bamu. Hello. Wow. Hey, firm handshakes. I learned something new about you today. So, I think Koyan Dark was also not the band 5 yet. Yep. Let's work on that. Yo, that's pretty based, Arcadist. Hey, why would you get kicked, Burbo? Did you do something bad? Roro. Any wish or prediction for Valentine's Servants? Mmm. Not really, no. I'm willing to be surprised. Hopefully someone I end up liking a lot. That's always what you wish, right? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, besides Summer Suzuka, I don't remember who was the last female servant I was like fully simp moding for that they released. Hmm. Was there someone else last year too? Maybe there was. I mean, I kind of like Tonelico quite a bit. But not like a crazy amount. Decent. Oh yeah, the Draco is up there too, I guess. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I had to do a double take because I'm not sure. <laughs> Vargas Summer. Uh, decent. It's still not the ideal Vargas that I was hoping for, sadly. But, not bad. Also, uh, frickin', uh... 
Knock Naria. She's very nice. Because, you know, Stockholm Syndrome and all that. Probably gonna Grail her on NA as well. She might be my first Grailed Welfare then, honestly. Yeah, probably. Have we ever gotten a fully dedicated male suburb servant that is not a costume? I don't think so. Not even genderless ones, right? I don't think so. I want to say no. Stupid sexy babe. Yeah, exactly. Too OP, man. Summer was really great in retrospective. Well, I guess it uh, helps that, you know, Lost Belt 6 is one of the most beloved story chapters of the game. So, you know, them doing a Lost Belt 6 summer. Who would have thought that most people like it? Now, obviously, not everyone liked it because, you know, it was kind of a Nasu doing another Lost Belt 6. So some people are like, oh, why? But, you know, I think most people are like, dude, more Lost Belt 6 stuff? Hell yeah. I think I'm on more on that ladder camp too, honestly. I don't... I'm not, like, crazy about the idea or the servants for the, you know, overall. But, you know, yeah, I'm on board, yeah. Very cool. Does Cadis count? Cadis might be the closest, honestly, yeah, in, of that case. Most likely. Dude, Sub Cadis is pretty hot, I'm like, well, Cadis is pretty nice. I like her third ascension, too, that looks like it came out of Monster Hunter or something. It's pretty hot. You really like LB6? Yeah, fairly common take, I'd say. <laughs> but agreed. Having Tanelico and Summercast 3 are consecutively stupid. I mean, it, it is kind of an awkward thing that they clearly use the anniversary servant as a s extra summer servant spot as well. Now, obviously, it's not fully a summer servant. It's just like, you know one specific ascension but you gotta it's still a bit like you know it le doesn't leave the best taste in the mouth when you think about it right because it's it's still definitely a summer servant if not even if not fully one so a lot of people have mixed feelings about them you know using an anniversary servant for a bonus summer one like lady avalon but at least she wasn't an anniversary servant but yeah she is a very similar case of course Hello, Oda, how you doing? <laughs> you don't care because you're a Morgan Sim? Well, yeah, at least you're being honest about it. <laughs> to be honest, I, I much prefer to, uh, you know, Ash slash Todelico to the Morgan side. The giant glasses, the nerdy character, the, uh, the book girl. I'm all about that, dude. Instead of the cold ruler that, you know, everyone sims for. It's, it's weird, though, because, you know, I love, like, bossy girls. I love evil bitches, you know? So you think I would like, like, you know, Berserker, Morgan more than, you know, Caster, Ash. But I like Ash more. I just like her more. It's probably because the design is what really does it for me. The nerdy witch look is just, it's hot. <laughs> it's pretty hot. So it's more, probably more so the, how she looks versus like being a bigger part of why I like her more than the personality side. Yeah. <laughs> you arrived and the first thing you hear is me saying that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's a fairly tame line here. Let's be real. It could have been much worse. By the logic, you could also be a Jolter simp. I still, I, I don't, Jolter still doesn't do it for me. All these years later, I still don't get it.
pretty wholesome sounding song, not gonna lie. How far is the way from bot 15? I don't remember. I can check after this run. She's probably gonna be the first one to hit bond 15 though, because it's way easier to, you know, <clears throat> fit in the four stars than five stars into a party. And I farm with her a lot too. So that helps. She's a very nice multi-core servant. Very nice. Am I gonna roll for Black Swan? Maybe. I just might. Her character... I mean, I don't know much about her character... Or, like, anything about her character yet. Design-wise, she's just okay. Is The design doesn't really do it for me. But, yeah, we'll see if the character ends up convincing me. But the real... I might actually do a gameplay role. Which I know, crazy, right? Especially because I'm not wailing. So, yeah, I know, crazy. Because I, I never really advocate for gameplay roles. But, supposedly, like, she's really nice for dot teams. And I like dots a lot. So I might just go for a copy anyway. Probably not gonna go for her light cone though, but maybe just a copy to, you know, improve dot stuffs. What's a gameplay role? Basically rolling a character just to improve your account gameplay wise. Like you're rolling her just to use her, like, you know, what she offers gameplay wise. Like not rolling for, you know, the simping waifu or husbando reasons that I usually roll for, you know. And Sparkle is probably someone I'm going to simp way more as well. Shocking, I know, right? If you saw the splash art, then you probably know why. <laughs> I'll get her on first pity. Uh, well, I already uh, rolled one pity on the Kafka rerun, which was a spook. So the next uh, SSR is a guaranteed rate up one. So that helps, I suppose. Am I playing 120 Luvia? Yeah, she's probably the next 120, actually, after uh, Okita. I'm, I'm not going to like, do all the Okitas in a row for 120. They will probably all be 120 eventually, even Assassin, actually. But I think I'm going to, you know, alternate between some other servants, too. So I think Luvia might be the third one to get 120. Although, <laughs> I still want more copies, because as is, I can't get 120 and all her appends, which is annoying. Because I liked for my, I like I'd like all my 120s eventually to be like nice and perfect. Because I'm kind of weird and completionist like that. Oh, I was I was supposed to check the bond. I forgot. Literally a classic moment for me. Say I'm gonna do something at the start and then or the start of a run and then don't do it at the end because brain forget everything. The pain of one, one four, uh, 124 stars, especially permanence. Like, honestly, this could be a hot take, but I feel like it's worse if your favorite four star is a permanent one. Like, sure, sometimes you can get lucky with the occasional copies. Man, you can't rely on that. But they need so much more coin, like copies to get more coins than uh, story locks and limiteds. It's like twice the amount. It's crazy. Well, not twice necessarily, but way more regardless. Is best up. How many copies do I need to 120 plus a bond? Oh, uh, for, for full 120 and a pence, I think I need like three or four at least still. Maybe even like five. So yeah, you need a lot. Luvia gets a decent chunk of write-ups, but <laughs> I haven't been able to roll properly on the last two ones. Well, the last one I didn't roll because money is tight. And the one before that, I tried like 300 quarts, but... I only got like five other four stars, zero Luvias, only spooks. So yeah, you know, my good old coin flip luck, zero copies. So that was really sad. I think it was the, the, it was the banner with her and uh, Summer Umu, yeah, Caster. I think that it was that banner. You know, this song sounds kind of cool. Coin system needs a revamp. I wish they would revamp the bond system first, which could also help with the coins too, by the way, if they want to do something with that too. But yeah, the bond system is like so bad. <laughs> I don't mind like it taking long to bond stuff. It's just that it... It's just, it's not good right now. 
a max bond should probably never be a thing. At least if you ask me, you should always be able to bond servants as, you know, long as you want to, you know, flex a number. Even if it means there's not like no big rewards anymore, they should at least uncap the bond. And two, they should fix the bond Cs. Those are like the two minimums I would like to see be dealt with with the bond system. Now, they could obviously do more stuff too, like, you know, coins, maybe change some of the rewards to be better. You know, there's a lot of things they could do, but the minimum is, like, uncap the bond and make bond Cs more viable. Also, level 3, wow! On this uh, pl new plug, uh, let's go. It's so slow to level up, but, you know, slow and steady progress. Is good except for, for uh, four star servants uh, and also story locked and limited three stars, especially because those copies you didn't even get coins for them like retroactively, which is stupid. Uh. Besides bond levels, saber class consists of berserkers who out damage them. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't that like most classes though? Use new plug even without using plug teams. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah, because <laughs> every other mystic code I have is max level. So yeah, right now I'm actually using it, which is rare. I normally don't plug much at all, but yeah, it's uh, it's nice to get those levels up because it's gonna be the up. This is the best mystic code for you know any kind of uh, loot farming where Oberon is involved because unlike the normal plug, this one also has MP damage on the attack up, which obviously scales better with his third skill. So it's a bit better on Oberon teams. Otherwise, honestly, the normal plot, the old one is better. I like the stun more than the uh, heal with the, uh, what is it again? Attack debuffs? Yeah. So for bosses, I like the old one more, honestly. But for farming with Oberon, this is nice. Is this Uptown Girl? Oh my god, and it's the OG one too. Wow, who requested this? Uh? Oh my god. Freaking Billy Joel. Wow. <laughs> Piano man himself. Yeah, he is. There's the teapot uh, point bonus. I did not know. Still holding on to mine. I should use them on interludes instead, where Bond can peak quite high. Yeah, true to the attack. I actually, uh, well, I, I'm i pretty sure I, actually, no, I did use it, so you're right, actually. Yeah, during the uh, Barbatus raids in the Case Falls rerun, it was nice having that attack, attack debuff cleanse. Because if my Luvia got arts downed, she didn't do enough damage with the kind of minimalistic setup I was running. So it was nice. Oh, the five-star command code. Wow, that art, though. Damn, it's so bad, though. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's a shame, because the art looks nice, but it's such a bad command code. Anti-undead, really? Such a niche one. That is not a common trait. Although, for summer Wu enjoyers, it's gonna be nice, though, right? Yeah, that's, that's quite nice, actually. And summer Wu is pretty nice. Yeah. So it has uses. Even outside of the niche cases. And because both... Uh, actually, no, Summer Wu is a caster. I was about to say she and Grey are assassins, but I was thinking OG Wu. <laughs> it would have been even a nicer combo if they share the class, because Grey obviously has that anti-undead too. Some other servants had anti-undead too, I forgot. was like, maybe Eris had one, one of the variants, or both had anti-undead maybe. Anyway, usually Grey is the one that people think of, myself included. What kind of servant do you wish to see as summer servant? Uh, all my waifus that don't have a summer variant, of course. <laughs> totally no bias. <laughs> they deserve it the most because they're my waifus. <laughs> 
there's still a lot of options they could do. Not all my wife, if, in fact, probably most of my wives don't have summer versions. Although I'm very happy with Summer Suzuka from last year. I still can't believe how amazing she, like, she is as amazing as she is. It's crazy. Like, honestly, this could be, like, this could sound toxic because, you know, she's literally right there and I love her, of course, a lot. But I think Summer Suzuka might be my favorite Summer Servant. <laughs> she's absolute perfection in every single way. But obviously I love Okita Summer as well. Both of them. Assassin and Saber Alter. <laughs> cover your ears, yeah, true. Dude, I'm gonna cover Okita Alter's ears and she's gonna cover the ears of Rengoku. It's like an ear coverception. That would make for a funny, like, you know, fan art or something. Don't listen. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You hope the anniversary servant of uh, this year are not going to be a suburb servant like last year. Yeah, um, they probably got some feedback about it that people probably had mixed the feelings about it. So hopefully it's going to be like not tied to the suburb stuffs. To make them both feel special in their own ways. It sounds like like medieval fair music or something. Oh, it's from the South Park RPG. I guess that makes sense. Wow. Actually, I just realized I can probably toss this on Okita instead. Yeah, that probably helps the wave 3 damage. Wow, look at that. Multi-core intensifies. The refund is not really needed, but the, the damage is nice. Even if it's like 20% only. Hey, see ya, Burbo. Thanks for being here. There you go. I, I also said your name just now. Are you happy? <laughs> Enjoy. Bonus. You still haven't got the annual survey? What, what feedback? When, when do those usually happen anyway? I never paid attention to, like, the timings. <laughs> Bully. I mean, we bully everyone here. This is definitely not a safe zone. If you come into the stream, expect to get bullied at some point. Maybe immediately. <laughs> yeah, totally, Skuzea. Yeah, now that Burbo is not here, we can just bully her. She will never know. <laughs> Boy, by these nuts jokes. I mean, yeah, I mean, it always works. Yeah. I don't really want to jinx it, but I also want to ask has the music been working fine now? I assume it has because no one has said, like, you know, way too dank or something like that in the chat. I probably jinxed it now. Watch it, like, break in, like, the next five minutes again. But again, we'll just mute until it fixes itself again, I guess. Because I, nothing I do seems to affect it at all. It just has a will of its own. Sometimes it's like, you know what? Now I'm going to go scuff mode. Anyway, let's check how much Bon Luvia needs. I actually remembered for once. <laughs> Dude, don't start spamming way too dank now. I'm going to think it's broken. <laughs> and before it actually is. And that would be like an absolute crazy timing moment. Okay, so she's like less than 500k away from Max Bond. Well... Dude, the CE name matches the uh, bond level pretty well. <laughs> there you go. Well, so good. You wish seeing one day a new Hazard servant like fake Hazard or Hazard of the Spoon. Yeah, let's get the Spoon one in the game. That was, uh, that was an interesting one. And they should play Spoon Man by Soundgarden as his noble phantasm theme. Someone request that song. It's fucking banger, by the way. Spoon man. 
Beat the rhythm with your bones. No one knows the song, sadly, probably. Unless you have good taste, then you might. But I, I, I don't have high hopes. But do people even know Soundgarden? Please. Black Hole Sun? That's a famous one. Black Hole Sun, won't you come wash away the rain? Come on, Chris Cornell, that man is a legend. Rest in peace. Soundgarden, his solo work, audio slave, nothing. Damn, I'm so old, dude. They're not even that old, honestly. They're like, I listen to way more older stuff, too. They, they started like the, in the 90s or something. So it could be worse. Black Hole Sun is famous, but you admit you don't know the rest. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I wasn't the biggest Soundgarden fan either, but they have some okay songs. Spoonman being one of them. It's a nice song. It's a great uh, gr grunge jam. Like, if you like shit like Nirvana, listen to Spoonman. <laughs> it goes hard, dude. They even have, like, a rhythm made by spoons at the beginning. Because it's based on an actual guy. Like a guy, like a homeless guy that was, like, playing music with spoons to get, you know, get money. And they made a song out of him. Yo, Beto, good morning, bud. How you doing? Okay, we're approaching the halfway point of the ladder. It's it's three a million, right? For the full one. Bing chilling. But uh, I only need like four or 500k more to get that CE MLB. And at that point, well, I'm not going to MLB it, of course, immediately. But then I can do the uh, bonus quests for basically max bonus. Because I'm not going to farm this like a lottery. So it's going to be the max bonus. Besides that. Dude, now Spoonman is just playing in my head. <laughs> How many bond 15s do I have? Uh, zero. Maybe surprising to some. But yeah, I, I, I have a lot of bond 10 pluses though. But no 15s yet. Luvia will be the first one, most likely. Then probably Jinako after that. She's like... F I, she's like either 14 or just under it. One of those two. Also, I, that sounds pretty bad out of context. <laughs> but you know what I mean. In JP, zero... Uh, no, no, wait. I have one in JP. I have Castoria bond 15 on JP. And Oberon is, like, pretty close too, I think. Yeah. So I actually have one on JP, yeah. Yes, sir. You don't even have a bond 12. You switch around your servants too much. I mean, that's fine. That, I mean, that's mostly what I do. I also, I just play a lot too, so I'm slowly getting some higher ones too. But yeah, a lot of Bond 10 pluses. And also, whenever I grail someone, Bond 10 is a minimum. Minimum. So I always, like, whenever, like, a new grail happens, I try to speed, like, I try to fit them into everything and whatnot, every team, so, so I can get Bond 10 as fast as possible. It's the absolute minimum. And then slowly work their Bonds up from, you know, that. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who your uh, bot 12 server would be, Hibiko. I wonder. Also, base taste, though, by the way. I really like Himiko. She's so freaking hot, dude. Oh my god. Summer Himiko, when I would explode. Wow. Oh, did the song uh, br break again? Please, no. You, you, everyone's saying way too dank. Oh no. Is, is, is it that, that time again? I can't tell. We good now? Oh, it did. Oh, it was like a fast one. Okay. Was it like a few seconds or something? Damn, dude. Hmm. Weird. Dude, where can I order one of those chocolate trees in the background? I love chocolate. Chocolate is so good. 
I'm still giving Luvia the uh, skill one sometimes. <laughs> I forgot I started giving it to Okitan. Whoops, bustle Beberry. Is it a mic bug or something? Wait, is my mic broken now? What? Hmm. Hopefully not. That would be the worst. Just asking, okay, okay. Oh my god, this song itself sounds like scuffed. Like, it's not even the bug, it just has like a really way too dank quality to it. <laughs> <laughs> is the, did you request it because of that? Like, the, I, I, it's not the actual bug right now. It's just, it just it sounds distorted, the song itself. Because I can hear it now too. Means it is like, it's just, that's just the way the song is. Oh my god. That is some heavy distortion. Okay. Can you wish me luck for a epic multi that you will roll now? What game though? Depends. If it's Ark Knight, suck my nuts. If it's something else, then maybe. <laughs> I'm not gonna bless you in a game I don't play, of course. That's what I bet. What game do you think it is? I don't know. Is it KR? Does it have some banners that are cool? I don't freaking know what you guys have. Is it AMQ? Probably not, because you probably only roll when we were playing. Do you like my uh, Sherlock skills again at work? Hey, have a good sleep, Gab, but thanks for being here. You started recently. Oh, re the Love Live one. Was it called again? Something? I forgot. It was like Sif and like shortened, but I forgot what it stands for. Well. Have you rolled any uh, URs or whatever the highest rarity was yet? School Idol Festival, okay. <laughs> sure, dude. You have? Okay. Wow, look at this greedy guy. Greedy moves. Your mom? Why, my mom is UR? Wow. Shout out. <laughs> okay. I mean, she is the best, so, of course, no bias. I think this song is maybe finally over. But yeah, that was an interesting experience. Not the bug, but just normally distorted. Heavily distorted. You got one off a mineral, fuck you. Well, again, it's your fault, okay? You wanted a blessing on a game I don't play. What, what do you expect, dude? What do you expect? Like, what can I do? Yo, Spoonman! Here we go. Listen to the epic riff. This riff is so good. Ooh. Such a tight riff, dude. Great song. Shout out to Braindead for requesting this song. <laughs> God, I love Chris Cornell's voice. This banger, it is, yeah, it's a great rock song.
I love that line. All my friends are skeletons, beat the rhythm with their bones. Any skeletons in the chat? Type skull emoji if you're a skeleton. <laughs> I guess ain't no way works too. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, the school and crossbones. Damn. Fancy. <laughs> Yo, I got a ticket. There were still tickets this late into the uh, ladder as well. I thought they were only like the first X amount of 100Ks. Nice. Good surprise. Would get surprised again. You have a school, you, so you think maybe? Yeah, maybe. You might be onto something. <laughs> Come on! Hey, it's Alpha with the 25 months. Hey, dude, thank you so much. How you doing? And welcome back to the Gao Gang. Um, DCS is kind of disabled right now because the desktop audio is kind of broken. I can maybe enable it soon back again to see if it works. <laughs> it reminds you of the fear and hunger stream. <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever, I swear. <laughs> Dude, the, the sprite on the skeleton was hilarious. It was literally that gif. If anything, I, I need to make that its own highlight video. It was so freaking funny. Like, I, 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 it just, it, it made me a break. <laughs> oh my god. I need to, I need to find that clip, yeah. There you go. Now you guys have heard Spoon, man. Very nice song. Yeah, I wouldn't say finally finish the point ladder. It's pretty early, honestly. <laughs> it's free red stuffs. Oh, that'd be interesting, but it says, yeah, sure. I assume they're probably just going to keep her, like, vague and not ever really show her anything. But, you know, you never know, I guess. Hmm. I wonder what her design would be like. This is Millet, right? Yes, she does the uh, ending songs to Friren and, like, this one. And many other shows, of course. Hey Alex, how's it going, my dude? She did one for Babylon Emma as well, you recall? Yeah, she did Tell Me Now, right? But also Prover, right? That was both of her. Both She did both, right? Prover and Tell Me. Tell Me Now, yeah. Yeah, one of them was a special song, but still, it counts. Very nice. Enjoy your coffee, Daryl. <laughs> she has a very nice and unique voice.
free run ending or the Vinland Millet one. Uh, I have to go with the Vinland one. It's, my, it's actually my favorite Millet song of all time, which is uh, Forget uh, Drown. Drown, that's a great song. Especially the full one. I mean, I, I like this song a lot too. It's good. I like I, I like I tend to like like all her songs. I don't really think she has any bad songs, at least not none I have heard. But I like Drown so it's my favorite Millet song for sure. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't really miss, I suppose. That's what they say. <laughs> oh, it's Drown her first anime song actually. Oh wow. Well that's pretty cool though. It's a good start. I knew she was kind of new in the scene, but I wasn't sure if, like, when she started. But if she started with that, then wow. Yeah, pretty new stuff. But she's, like, in most seasons now, it feels like. Got pretty popular. There's a lot of, like, new singers in anime and whatnot that are, like, everywhere now. Another one I can think of is Mindarin, for instance. She seems to be in, like, every season as well. Sometimes even, like, more than one show or something. Ado as well, yeah, for sure, yeah. Yoasobi, yeah. There's a lot of the new modern ones that are just everywhere now. Creepy dots. Yeah, they're pretty... They're getting big, too. Do you have a favorite C valid side? Ooh, that's a hard one. I mean, it obviously be one of my grilled servants because, you know, total bias. <laughs> but that's just how it goes. Mm, which one would I choose as the favorite, though? I really remember liking the Jinako one, though. Yeah. That might be one of the options. Speaking of cool voices, we have Iber again. Any tips on how to learn kanji efficiently? Just repetition, bro. If you're not writing characters, I would recommend doing it. Uh, it's been a scientifically proven fact that, you know, um, Repetition via writing can vastly improve memorization. Now, it obviously is not going to be the same for everyone. For you, it might not even work like much at all. Or so, but it's worth definitely trying out because uh, it can yield some very fruitful uh, results. I definitely utilized uh, repetition by writing a lot when I was learning kanji. You can do flashcards too. It's basically the same thing, if that's your deal. A lot of people like flashcards. They even have apps for that. Anki, for instance, very good. There's a lot of different decks as well, depending on your skill level. Or if you want to focus on certain types of characters. Very customizable. And there's Wanikani as well for different kinds of, like, you know, exercises. If you like apps. I wouldn't recommend learning the entire language via apps. I think language learning apps are like, you know, they're all, they're only they're maybe good for like introductory stuff, but specifically learning like characters like kanji, they can actually be very useful to aid memorization if they're done properly, that is. You're still st stuck at learning hiragana, I forget the fast without repeating. Well, I can give you a motivational boost, though, and I'm pretty sure anyone that's ever learned Japanese can probably attest to this, but both Hiragana and Katakana, you can probably learn them both in a month. And the nice thing is, you can it, it's basically permanent after that. You will not forget them after that anymore. Like, they stick to your mind. Because you, especially if you, you know, deal with Japanese media, you tend to see them a lot. Even Katakana, which is obviously not as common, but... Yeah, they, they, they're they one of those things that you basically learn permanently. You learn them in two days. Yeah, you can. You can literally learn them in less than a week, depending on yeah, like your, you know, ability and, you know, how fast you're going, I suppose. But, yeah. So, I would just keep grinding and then you'll have them memorized in no time. That's 
is my hardest part to learn Japanese. I don't think there's necessarily any particular part that's like so much harder than the rest. I think the language as a whole obviously takes a lot to, you know, get a good grasp of. But I feel like it's mostly because of the characters. The language itself is pretty simple, actually. Very simple, in fact. Like grammar and whatnot. I might, might just be the site or whatever, Sonic, but yeah. You get the point? Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again, I think. <coughs> Whoa, that was a big one. Big sneeze. It's not, I assume, I, I think I know what you were trying to go for, Ariosto. It's not really uh, correct per se, but at least I understood what you were going for. <laughs> Yo, totally not a fit agent with the seven months. Thank you so much. And welcome back to the Go Gang. Hey, thank you for the nice message too. So yeah, I assume you were gonna you, you wanted to say you bought like uh eggs in a pan like uh eggs and bread today. So you could say Kyo no uh Kyo no kaimono wa tamago yapan. Stuff that that's, that would be like a very simple way of saying it. So you would use the word kaimono over the verb. Or if you want to use the verb, you could do Kyo de katta mono wa tamago ya pan. So again, depends on how you want to phrase it. Rondo revolution. Yeah, let's see if I can unmute the uh, everything else. Is this still scuffed? Let's see. You tell me. Because we can't hear the TTS when this is muted either, because it's in the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sasuke hentai translator. <laughs> yeah, my amazing tenure as a uh, as a Japanese learner. What do you call an overweight almond? A fat nut. I mean, I guess you're right. Yeah, it just obviously sounds a bit funny. Yeah, fair enough. Understandable. So I assume the audio is fine on the uh, other stuff too now, since no one is way too danking. But again, who knows what it, when it's gonna break again. Do I really translate Dojins how often though? I haven't translated officially anything in like, probably like two years almost at this point. But I read like stuff almost daily, myself. But we did translate, I don't know, somewhere between 10 to 15 books. Yo, it's the nice number. Yo, now she can be 120 all the pens. Look at that. Very nice. Didn't take too long after summer. Well, also more quartz. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's Meikai. Gandia. Do you use, uh, do I use, the, I, I assume by use you mean, yeah, the funny stuff. Ah. Uh, I have. I'm not gonna lie. 
Yes, because obviously some of them were ones that I chose myself to translate, which were, you know, doesn't take a genius to probably realize that, you know, there, there were probably things I was into. So, yes, should be a given. Not all of them, though, because not everyone, every single one was something I chose. Because, you know, we had a group and we are all kind of, you know, we just did whatever we wanted. Uh, we didn't take commissions or anything. We never got paid for any of it. <laughs> we just did translate what we wanted to. And that was that. You like the world looking kanji? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a nice basic one. Uh, you, you don't have to put the pronoun there, Sonic. In Japanese, it's very commonly like omitted from sentences because context always defines everything so if you just like if you say without it you say kyo wa ben kyo shimasu like without the watashi wa then it, it, everyone will assume you're talking about yourself unless the context prior to that has defined something else everyone will just be you know assuming you're talking about yourself so it's just going to be like they avoid using pronouns a lot. Even when you're talking to someone else, so, uh, someone else, they don't really use the word you, and there's a billion of those as well in Japanese, of course. They tend to... Um, so did I fuck this? I may have fucked this. Uh, whoops. They tend to use either the name of the person they're talking to, or just, again, omit both, because, again, the context probably makes it clear who's being talked about. So, you know, they like to omit stuff from sentences. Con very contextual language. You can even omit a lot of the particles too. Like, you know how O, aka Wo, but you pronounce it as O, is used for like signifying targets for actions, like, you know, actions on objects. You can omit that most of the time too. You don't need to write O, basically. It's, it kind of sounds more natural when you do it anyway. For the most part, you can omit it as well. And many other particles, too. <laughs> Your Japanese professor scolded you for using ore. <laughs> well, ore is, is fairly normal still. But it's not very, like, you know, um, formal. And it also kind of makes you seem like... Like, a little asshole-ish, but not, like, a crazy amount. There's worse ones out there. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> pronouns are used in fictional writing, basically. No, pronouns are still used, of course, like, in everything, but... Usually not much. Oh my god, that note though from Ado. Holy. Oh, so wait, there's an EX plus rank? Does that improve the damage still? I think she hit it like a run or two ago. Wow. Does that do anything or is EX still the most like for gameplay stuffs? Maybe it's just for flexing rights. It probably doesn't do anything, does it? Okay. Just for flexing rights. Okay, I'm getting that CE soon, I think. To later T quest give like sub 1k plus bond, it is best to use bond CE that point C's if you turn to T bots. Oh, so you think it's better than like interludes? Should I maybe try that? We'll see. Oh, they even add more pluses, okay. Sure, dude. All the flexing. You're still out of having fun most of the time when studying examples tend to be on the formal side. Yeah, obviously in like study materials, everything is like super formal. They hardly ever show like really casual stuffs. 
Sometimes they do, but most of the time they're really formal. They're not maybe like Kego formal, because that's like the top of formali formality, but you know, they're still like polite always. God damn, she can definitely scream. Does that not hurt her throat or something? Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Go. Hey, exposed with the five months. Thank you so much. And a big welcome back uh, to the Go Gang. Oh, is this distortion back? No, wait, which one is it though? Is it the game or the music? Hopefully not both. Which one is it? Mm. <laughs> one person says game, one says music. Ah, oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's let the song start and we'll see if it's the music. Let's see. Is it the music? It's playing right now. Sounds... Sounds fine? Maybe? Also, wait, what the hell? Wait, Duran Duran made music for Metal Gear? Yo, that's awesome. What the hell, I had no idea. Oh my god, yeah. That's freaking based. Wow. We're learning animal vocab in Japanese for some of things written in kanji. Are MSUs written in kanji or hiragana? I think a lot of animals are written with hiragana. If it's like, if it's animals that are considered like exotic in Japan, I think they prefer hiragana. But if it's like a bear, you can bet your ass is always basically going to be a kanji. Although I have seen bear written in kana as well. But I feel like most of the time it would be written with the character. But if it's like, let's say... Um, like, uh, what can I think of? Like a zebra may, might have its own kanji. <laughs> Maybe a bad example. Okay, something that has like a Japanese word. Uh, an elephant. They would just written that or write that with uh, katakana, I'm pretty sure. They would just write zo on katakana. Or a tiger. Yeah. So basically, animals that are not, like, very native to Japan, you see often written with kana, even if they have kanji, and they probably do because of, you know, Chinese characters. Yeah, Alpha, yeah. I like that you write, wrote Space Rin instead of Space Ishtar. <laughs> Interesting. I guess it's technically true. JP Valentine's stream is soon, right? Uh, it's on Sunday, yeah. Well, it's not per se a Valentine's stream, but they will have the... Uh, Info about the event they're including, sh or should rather, also show the new servant. Yo, hey, someone got a second ship in the in uh, in the freaking uh, in Star Trek. Thank you so much. Hey, everything helps. Uh, shout outs. I was thinking the level five ticked up too. Maybe I missed that earlier, but hey. Shout out to whoever that was. You guys know who you are. Thank you, thank you. Still have time until like either f Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure which one it is. But regardless, thank you. Uh, I play Star Rail. Uh, yeah, I play it. I'm literally streaming it tomorrow too. <laughs> so yeah, I have. It's one of the gacha games I'm still playing. Oh, speaking of Mindarin. There you go. Ultra Dai Shouri! 
って何やらせんだまったく。<laughs> How many points did I have just now? I must be getting close to that 1.8, right? Also, I fricked it again, but it's fine because a lot of batteries. Yo, Gil, how you doing? Uh? This is the first anime song Minderin made. I don't know. No, this is not the Ari Furetta one. This is the slime one, Ryan. The Ari Furetta one is banger. It's, uh, it's my favorite Minderin song. That's daylight. It's so fr it's on my playlist too. Am I gonna give really link, really link a shot? That's the new Grand Blue uh, JRPG, right? I think I might get it at some point. Cause I always had an interest in Grand Blue, but I don't want to play their browser ass gacha game. Seems a bit scuffed, but an actual RPG I might touch. Because they have some okay waifus in the, that series. Oh, I fucked it, dude. This is too early for those buffs. It's okay, though. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't play the game and read the dolgens. Dude, that's a rookie thing, Jax. Okay, clearly you are not a fellow, like, cultured individual of the word known as context matters. Well, I guess it's two words, but originally I was just gonna say context, but yeah. Context matters is where it's at. It makes the stuff so much better. Like, if you actually kind of know how the characters act at, act at work and what they do and who they're like, what kind of relationships they have with others, and it, it makes it so much better. Like, it's night and day, dude. It's night and day. So if I kind of get to know the characters a little bit and whatnot, so the material will also elevate. It's just how it works. Fuck, I just still didn't check my points. I'm gonna check now. Let's back out for a second. Yeah, I want to start Metal Gear. Uh, what do you mean, like, start? I kind of have already. I played Revengeance. <laughs> it's still a part of the universe, right? <laughs> okay, I need, like, one or two more runs, I think. To get to see, so we can do the bonuses. Yeah, I, I heard when the game went end of service, Eblis, yeah. I didn't really know much about the game before that, I'm gonna be honest. But I did remember Gow. hearing about the end of service Gow. stuffs. Speaking of metal gear, <laughs> yo, Andrew, thank you for the 27 months uh, and a big welcome back uh, to the Gao gang. Hey, good morning as well. How's it going? Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I might be getting your package at some point, Andrew. It's probably, it's probably not going to be this week, but I'm hoping it's next week. I keep getting sometimes like updates from the uh, postal tracking thingy, but yeah, they're still waiting to receive it, I think, on the postal side. So we'll see. Also, hello Anubis, how you doing? You still need to finish the DLC of Revengeance? Yeah, I guess I never did, but <laughs> we'll see. If it gets voted for subset or something, I guess I'll do it, yeah. After learning the character, damn, I can't loot this character anymore. <laughs> yeah, I guess that can happen too, of course. Oh yeah, that makes sense, Cole, yep. Yeah. It's hilarious when artists themselves don't have a clue what the character's personality is, like Azuna and Blue Harkai. <laughs> yeah, they just see one evil-looking smile and they're like, oh, the character must be an absolute you know, sadistic bitch or something, when they're probably like a nice basic girl. <laughs> Good old expressions.
It's funny, Sign, because NTR actually is better to me with context as well. Because for you, it makes it worse, but for me, it makes it better. <laughs> it's funny how that works. <laughs> we talking about it again. Well, again, it's never my fault, though. I refuse to take responsibility. Of the topics, that is. Good night, Hype Rock. Thanks for being here, dude. Now, one more run for the CE. Then we get a bunch of bonus points. Pow, pow, pow. Did you mean to say fade? So I was like, what? <laughs> I had to do a double take there. Oh, well, that was the best click I have. Roro. Oh, I have cards. It's okay. Cards fix everything. There's a new Atelier series mobile game came out, just asking if you do. That's the game with the thick girl, right? Riza or whatever, however the name is read. Riza? I don't know. It's probably Riza or Riza. Maybe Riza. I don't know. <laughs> they really make her thighs plump in everything. And I've, I, I saw like a comparison picture, like she's been in a bunch of games and whatnot, they even made like an anime of her, right? But I noticed that like, of, uh, they, uh, someone compiled like a bunch of promotional art of her and every iteration of the game made her legs, legs thicker. <laughs> like they know what they're doing, like they kept changing it, like it wasn't even that noticeable like when she came out first, but then as more, th when they added iterations to the series, the legs seemed to develop too. <laughs> Is, uh, that was interesting. There's way too many games. Well, I mean, they gotta, you know, plump those legs somehow. Hey, Avalon, how you do with the... Well, this sounds interesting. Oh, it's 420 here right now. I just noticed. Uh, can't blaze legally here, though. So not advised. <laughs> there we go. Damn, a Chinese song. All right, let's go. Uh, so I'm just gonna. I assume these are very easy. You can probably just one turn them all. Probably. So load up on full points. And I go. Uh, Hey, hey! Sure, this is probably fine. Change you to Luvia, though. You always have interesting uh, entrances, don't you, Beetle? <laughs> you know what? Sure, dude. Why not? I mean, you do you, man. I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> Oh, is it Chinese New Year's? Is that like happening right now? I I I, I never know when it is. <laughs> oh, it's like this weekend, Friday, whatever. Okay, sure, dude. Oh, shout out to those celebrating it. Hopefully, it's gonna be nice and fun. Oh, it's just one wave with nine enemies. Okay, so we can MP here. No worries. Um. How many animals do they have to describe the years again? In Chinese mythos or whatever? How many different ones are there? 
12, okay. 12, 12. Sure thing. Isn't that common knowledge? I mean, probably. I don't know though. <laughs> Maybe I'll remember now though. 2024 is Year of the Dragon. That pro that's probably the most badass one, right? Because I assume all the others are like actual normal animals, right? Year of the Dragon. Yeah, Tiger is not bad either, yeah, true. <laughs> Do people actually plan their, uh, you know, plan their babies based on the year as well? Interesting. Okay, it's maybe not the most points, but I, I, I mean, to be honest, this was also the first of the nodes. But also, hey, a lot of crystals. Wow. Yo, Panzani, how you doing? You're a snake boy? Snake is kind of cool. I'm probably like a rabbit or something. I don't know. What's 9d4? Probably a very normal basic animal. I'm a dog, same as you. Oh, honestly, I'm, I like dogs. I'm okay with being a dog. Okay, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could be, I'm, I'm okay with that. Wait, there's a monkey as well? Dude, I want to be monkey. I want to return. Dude. You're a sheep. <laughs> At least you're fluffy. Comfy, you know? A rat? Oh, dude, rat's pretty cool, too. The rat gang. Oh, this is only three enemies. Even faster. What are we talking about? The... The Chinese New Year's animals? What did they... What did they call them? They're not zodiacs or constellations, right? What was the, what's the word they use? Oh, did the uh, sound break? Oh shit, dude. Is it music? Or which one? Oh, they are, oh they're Chinese Zodiacs. Okay. So they are still so a group of Zodiac. Okay. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. I feel like a pig might be the worst one. <laughs> No offense to anyone born on that year. I feel like pig is probably the one you probably don't want. <laughs> if I had the choice, at least. I think all, most of the other ones have some cool, like, you know, cool uses. But although bacon is nice, I love me bacon. So, you know, it's not all bad. Oh, is the pig is the last one in the rotation or whatever. Also, is it always the same rotation? Like, after 12, does it go back to 1? Is, it, is that how it works? You're a dragon? Yo, that's kind of cool, dude. Yeah, it just resets like that, okay. I, I'm learning so much today. Is Chinese New Year's the one where they give out the red envelopes? It is, right? Right? You do the red envelopes? Yeah. Oh, the game sound is the broken one. Okay, I'm gonna mute it for now again. At least the music is hopefully fine. Okay. A lot of other countries besides China do red envelopes as well, right? Like... I feel like a lot of, if not most, Asian countries probably celebrate Chinese New Year's, right?
Is it normal for the audio to be way too dying? No, no, we're just having some audio issues that I still haven't been able to fully fix, sadly. Very unfortunate, though. It means gotcha funds for JP Valentine's, yeah. It's, it's like always money, right? Japan, Korea, Vietnam. Wait, Japan celebrates it too? I had no idea, actually. Wow. Yeah, Avalon, it's seemingly so. I thought we were over it already, but no. Oh, they don't? Okay, I was lied to then. Special resistance. Surely it's not that much. Just blast through, okay? Trust. Easy blast. Do you have a fully commit? I'm gonna fully commit, dude. Let's do it. Freaking hell, dude. Can I even make, make this better? Okay, put all the buffs somewhere. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell today is. Watch it be like a giga amount of resistance and this is not gonna work. <laughs> Alright, go. <laughs> 99%, there's no way. Okay, it's, it's actually a big uh, reduction, I think, though. But is that enough? That might be enough. Oh, one of them lived, uh, ruined. Uh, well, whatever. It's okay, close enough. Means cookies and food. I like cookies and food. Yo, it's Mazinger. Sounds like someone's knocking, dude. <laughs> It's the knocking drum. <laughs> Should I use Dobron's MP first? Yeah, true, because she removes the anvil anyway. Very true. Blim, blim, blim. Dead. Are you watching uh, freaking uh, Braverne right now, Scuse? It's definitely like super robot ish. I started watching it this week. I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up more seasonals, but I, I did anyway. It's pretty fun, actually. Although someone made, like, the craziest theory ever, and it seems like it's going to be true, and now, now I'm kind of mad that I read the theory, because now it's going to, like, basically spoil the whole main plot twist. <laughs> it, it, there's so many hints that I've seen now that really make that one guy's theory seem true about the series. <laughs> Goddamn. It's, like, such a good theory, it kind of spoils the series. <laughs> Even though obviously no one knows what's gonna happen because it's an original series, but man, the theory was so fucking good. He he made it in like two episodes. It's crazy. Like it, my guy is a genius. Yeah, it's Braver. Yeah, it's it, I'm I would I, I don't recommend going out to look for theories about it if you ha if you're watching it because man, that guy's theory is is amazing. Like there's so many hints so far in the four episodes that seem to, you know, imply that that's gonna happen. What he thought of. It's crazy. It's gonna be cool anyway if it happens. Alright, plastic. Who said it? It was just some random guy on Reddit. I was reading like episode discussions. He just he he just came up with a nice theory. Yeah, true cold. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> is this Nana Mizuki? Yeah, it is. She's in the DJ stuffs. Do you read Reddit threads after an episode? Yeah, I do if it's a seasonal, yeah. I like reading discussions, especially on series that are like, kind of, you know, 
you know, not the most easy things to follow. It's always like eye opening to like read discussion. So I, I make sure I don't really miss out on anything that happened, like maybe small details or something. I mean, I feel I, I like to think of myself as someone who, you know, catches a lot of stuff when I'm watching, even when it's subtle. But sometimes I still I definitely miss stuff. So it's nice to see like then, then it's nice to have those like moments when you read someone say something and like, oh, that was cool. I didn't realize that. So that's that's why I like to read discussions. Mm -hmm. mm, this is two waves. OK. Okay. Should be fine. Good affinity as well. You should check One Piece theorists. <laughs> I bet they're kind of, you know, uh, interesting people. <laughs> Will auto appear on tier lists? Uh, I don't have any plans so far. I, I've just been talking to Plushy. Like, as you know, um, we did them last year as well. And people liked it. But, you know, we could maybe cook something with auto as well. I'm not opposed to the idea. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh, it's about to blow. I'm about to blow. Dude, those, vi I, I, those videos are rent-free in my head. They're so fucking hilarious, but also cursed. Funny. Very funny. <laughs> you hit this mob? Yeah, they suck. Luckily, I'm gonna finish it off in one turn, so it's good. Can I invite me for... What was that? Servant specifically on the caster tier list? Oh, okay. I see what's happening. <laughs> what's that guy's name again? Dreamy Bullright? He's so funny. He stopped doing those videos, though, because he actually started streaming normally. <laughs> but it's funny. The memes people make of those clips of his um, prior work, I suppose. <laughs> it's so funny. Wow, Fallen, that's not even subtle, bro. I watch One Piece? I have not. I have never seen a single episode, nor have I even read a single panel of the manga. But I will try the anime when the remake comes out. I'm gonna try One Piece with the Wit Studio remake. So at least that way I can say I have, you know, kind of tried One Piece. Hopefully it's gonna be banging. I'm not going to get into the manga or the old series anymore. Definitely not. But the remake, I'm going to check out. Yeah. You've never been subtle. Yeah, true. Honestly, yeah. I mean, kind of weird for them to do a remake when this anime is still ongoing. But honestly, for someone like me, it's a good thing. So I'm not going to complain, you know. I can finally start One Piece. We'll see if I end up liking it or not. I mean, I tend to like most shonens, honestly. Unless they're, like, really trash. But One Piece seems to be one of the ones people actually really like, so... Hopefully it's gonna be nice for me to... Um... Hey, King, have a good sleep, man. Thanks for being here. Yeah, they announced an anime remake, Vanitas. By Wit Studio as well, so it should be pretty banging on the quality as well. It just came out of nowhere. It, there was like no build up for any news as far as I know. One day, it was like, I want to say less than a month ago maybe, or about a month ago maybe, they just dropped the bomb. It's like, bam, remake coming by Wit Studio. And that was it. They just plopped it out of nowhere, dude. Okay, uh, well, I'm gonna enable the audio back so we can hear the TTS. Hopefully can it's not Brian broken. Sing? Who knows? Maybe. Let's try our ha ha ha. Staying alive. Staying alive. Oh, I see what you're going for. <laughs> Did you just add a uh, add chainsaw at the end there as well? Okay. All right, an attempt was made. Okay, uh, let's see if I can keep the... Uh, Audio on. Assuming that was fine. That was pretty funny, actually. Wait, what am I doing here? Wait, oh, this was this like six enemies? Oh. Sure. Oh, this is Ultraman music. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's a big boy. Mm. Okay. Surely this is enough damage, right? Yeah, surely. Yeah, we good. We surely good. Let's do this too, so she gets the big Scotty crits. Oh wait, she doesn't. I'm stupid. There's the interval. I'm so stupid. I should have done the face cards first. I still always forget about it. <laughs> I swear. And it lived. Oh my god. Oh my god. What insult to injury. Freaking 4k, dude. Anything would have done it. Just do one card before the MP and it would have been enough. <laughs> wow, that, that's just the game laughing at me. Like, it, it totally... I, I bet the MP could have killed as well. It was probably a low roll too, just to, you know, laugh at me. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess it's a good way to remember that, you know. By making these mistakes, you slowly learn. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bashu EX. Wow, big loot though. Big loots. Oh. <laughs> it happens. You think at this point it wouldn't, but it definitely does. Okay, final one. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't bond grail her yet. You're right, I'm stupid. Uh, I usually always do that instantly. Wait, how many runs have I done when she has not been getting any bond? <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Fuck, dude. It's, ever, it's, it's been like an hour, maybe. Or maybe less than an hour. Aw, oh, shit, dude. I always do that immediately. Now I didn't. What's wrong with my brain today? Oh my god. Also, what the hell is this green uh, guy? Pickled veggies? Why? Okay, dude. <laughs> Account ruined. Yeah, it's all over, dude. A time to restart. Why well, use teapots? Because uh, they have better value elsewhere. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna try and use them in interludes instead, because they are a giga bond. Okay. Hey Chloe, how you doing? Oh, this is from the new persona. Was she max bomb when I got here over an hour? For, so over an hour? Oh, was it over an hour already? Oh no. Uh oh. Is this Lotus Juice? Sounds like the dude, this the, the guy that sings for them. It's always low. Yeah, I know they had it in the old stuff, but I wasn't sure if they had any on the new one. Also, I didn't even know that Lotus Juice still did a lot of stuff, honestly. So that was another thing I wasn't sure of. But I guess they still do stuff. Oh no, it's Riders. Well, that's awkward, McDawkward. Uh, I guess we're just gonna go anyway. Just do this stuff. Actually, let's switch her because I can use Castoria's MP as well. Wow, Giga Brain action. Yo, hello. Stella! Well then. Dude, hey, sleepy. Thank you for the five gifted. That is very nice of you. Uh, wow. Hey, congrats to all the winners as well. And, uh, you know, thanks, Sleepy, if, if you got sniped. Dude, hey, thank you so much. Really helps out. Uh, especially now that I had that partner plus, I get added value from every sub. Wow. How cool is that? Actually, let's do the attack now first. <laughs> Before I forget. There we go. Not all of them are gonna die, probably, anyway. <sighs> yeah, I haven't really b gotten his body rank up much at all. Hello, Kyle.
Ooh. Yeah, the middle one lives. It's okay. Uh, at least it's not going. So easy, fast action anyway. Whoa, more old school stuffs. Nice. Damn, look at that nice loot as well. Good. The sound quality might not be the best on this song, but it sounds nice. Dude, I can buy so much stuff from the shop. Uh, in fact, let me see. Maybe I should already take off the uh, shop CEs and just favor full points for the final one. Buy everything. Uh, Corona foe. I love Corona. <laughs> Words n uh, no one will say anymore post 2019. Oh, yeah, the bond grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it after the shop. Thanks. I was actually gonna forget again, by the way. So thanks for reminding me. I was I was gone, dude. Oh, I can't buy that one yet. So you know, we'll we'll keep them for a while still. Although, what about silver? That might be done. Is silver done? Mm, yeah, I think it is. Sure, we'll we'll buy these useless items too. <laughs> it's nice to clear out stuffs. And then gold. Can I buy both? I can buy both. Wow, look at that. What a treasure trove. <laughs> what would I do without Chad Yachu? You guys are my uh, personal memo. It's nice. Okay, we still need a bit more. I I'll just keep my MLB 3 star and then change the other Cs, I think. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds excellent. So yeah, Bond Grail, huh? <laughs> Bond Grail, there it is. Let's go. Uh, big progress towards 13. Alright. <laughs> I forgot to do a multi on story. Hmm, that sounds like that wasn't on my memo though. Hmm. I don't think I can trust you on that one. <laughs> Pretty sus. Wait, I pressed the summon button, dude. You're you're literally oh my god, I, I why did I, I dude I sub I was autopiling. You said summon and I clicked on the menu. Uh okay, I need to I, I need to get out of here, dude. Oh my god, you did some subli subliminal stuff to my brain just now. Not cool, man. Oh my god, that was totally autopilot. I was not- I, my fingers just moved. Uh, holy. That is scary. What just happened? Okay, points. Just leave the uh, bronze MLB. Yeah, this is good. Wait, is she- she must be Bond 5. Yeah, she's probably been Bond 5 for a while now. Roro, let's get a faker next. And then everyone is back to five. Yeah, okay, looks good. F -f 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 faker <laughs> Possessed. Yeah, I got possessed there. <laughs> Whoa, is that what it feels like? Well, now I know. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Stop blaming your addiction on others. Never. That's that's a part of my coping mechanism, okay? No one can stop me. Yeah, have a good sleep, but not. Thanks for being here. Sleep well. Oh, it's new Star Rail music. Wow. Piano goes burr. Hydration. Uh. Thoughts on the new boobas released on Star currently? I haven't really looked at them much. Again, I'm I'm very much always out of the loop when it comes to Hoyo games. Like I never really look at previews or patch notes or like trailers unless people want me to watch them on stream. I'm always like everything that drops is you know a surprise for me. 
<laughs> so I haven't really looked at the new stuff much of all yet, uh, or much at all yet. And tomorrow, that's why I'm streaming tomorrow, Star Rail that is, so I can look at a lot of the new stuff tomorrow. Might even roll for Black Swan, I don't know yet. Still contemplating, maybe. I do like dots a lot, so, yeah. Now oh, that sounds uh, pretty big brain, Sonic. Blame taxes for making you roll the gacha. Yeah, of course. Blame. I'll blame anything as long as it's not myself. Shifting blame is the way to go. That's literally humanity in a nutshell. Sounds like a nice and chill song. Pretty cool. Your caster is contributing. Yeah, she is. Better hers than mine, or yours than mine, because, you know, don't have to bond her. <laughs> I mean, my brain, I guess, what it is. Even if, you know, I don't want to. It is what it is, man. Some things are un unavoidable. <laughs> the way you phrase that, Sonic doesn't make it seem like it's like a any, like does anything. <laughs> but okay. Oh, is there audio? I see a way to dig. Uh oh. Hopefully it was just like a one second thing or something. Roro. Wait, which audio is it? Music or the other stuff? What are we looking at here? Did I play Palor? That sounds like a D's nuts joke, but I don't know because I don't know what Palor is. Is the game. Okay, I'll just mute it again for a while. It's okay. I'd rather it be the game than the music, honestly, on a farm stream. So there we go. Saved. You won't play dot characters? Really? Dots are the best, dude. Like any game where you can have damage over time. That's the best build. Oh, it's a game? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I get so many apples. You just log in and play events, bro. <laughs> It's all you do and complete missions i haven't used rainbow apples in almost a year mordred though so i don't know that's kind of invalid i used all my apples on the christmas lottery i went to zeros minus bronze i guess those were from the boxes but from gold and, for gold and silver i went to zero Yeah, Tesla Fest is not that far away. Pretty cool. Clearly he never went to Hillity SU. I always go to Hillity SU. It's the only thing I do, bro. Oh, you're saying the guy that doesn't like dots. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, okay. I, I realized it right after I said that, yeah. How's life? Uh, not too bad. A bit stressful here and there. But I, I want to feel, or I want to say that, you know, for a while now, most of the time I've been, you know, feeling pretty happy again. So that's kind of nice. Pretty good, pretty good. And I'm actually going to have, you know, a Valentine this year. Imagine that. That's pretty interesting. Very cool. Jackie Chad once dressed up as Chun Li. <laughs> not sure if I want to see what that looks like or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> our, is bad our default emotion is depressed and stressed now, though. 
<laughs> I mean, I feel like stress has always been there, at least, because, you know, that's just a part of being an adult. Responsibilities. You don't care about Dodd said Star Rail, really? Follow-ups for life? Honestly, follow-ups are pretty cool, too. I'll give you that. They're pretty cool. Dots are my favorite, but follow-ups are pretty cool, too. They need to come up with more mechanics like that, like special ones. Like, that, you know, sub-characters, like, fully build around, basically. To keep it fresh and, uh, you know, um, have a lot of variety. <laughs> Real-life Valentine's event for me. <laughs> yeah, again, it's very unfortunate that it's seeming like JP's Valentine's is gonna drop on Valentine's Day, but I think my current plan is still gonna work out. Again, a bit stressful, but, you know, I'm hoping it's still gonna work out fine and be a great time anyway. Optimism, you know? In this day and age, you gotta have optimism with everything, hopefully. If you can. Kafka's doubts and follow-ups, yeah, and that's why she's nice. <laughs> True. <laughs> Don't stress over that stuff. Yeah, true. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna go okay. They should drop actual Saint Valentine. Yeah, true. And then do Sir Nick uh, Sir Nicholas for Christmas. Your first day with Eleanor, to, uh, with, you took her to fly kites. <laughs> that's kind of cool. That's not, like, that's a special thing. Like, out of, you're thinking out of the box. Was that your idea or hers? Because that's kind of cool, actually. No, there was no win. Okay, well, okay, that's maybe not ideal, though. But the idea is pretty cool. <laughs> Damn. Well. Oh, is this Skillet? Holy... I used to, when I was a lot younger, I used to listen to Skill a lot, but I kind of outgrew from them, like, very fast. <laughs> like, it was definitely a phase for me. Damn, do they still do stuff? Wow. I was probably, I, I think I was, like, on the fifth or sixth grade when I had my Skillet and Linkin Park phase. They were, like, the only two bands I listened to. But then when I got into middle school, I got into metal and I never looked back after that. I mean, I don't hate them or anything. I just don't really listen to them anymore. I kind of have some fond memories, you know? It's a kind of event for every teenager. Yeah, maybe. At least maybe people that were my age. I mean, they're probably, you know, they probably still get discovered these days as well by, you know, young people. You can't listen to them anymore without cringing. Yeah, I kind of relate to that. Like, oh, I, I don't think these are songs are bad or anything. And oh, 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 they're kind of cool as well, honestly. But a, a part of me is still like a bit cringy on the inside now that I listen to them. Being this much older now. I mean, you can absolutely enjoy this type of music when you're old too. But I feel like this is morely, mostly music that, you know, like young teens are really into. Like myself back then. Listen to them in high school, yeah. You still love Linkin Park? Yeah, I feel like... Um, Linkin Park maybe carries a little bit better into, like, you know, your later years than a band like Skillet, maybe. They are very similar, though. Oh yeah, the monster songs on. Yeah, that was in like their their songs were crazy in MVs. And you know what's funny actually? Remember when I showed my like we had the uh, I showed my old YouTube channel in the uh, Christmas stream, which was like really cringy and shit. And it's funny because at least in one or, or two of the videos that I made for that were for Counter Strike Source, I used Skillet as the background music. <laughs> yeah. so, you can tell that was back then. Like they have Skillet songs in there. <laughs> 
<laughs> I remember I was inspired because uh, it's actually how I discovered them too, fun enough. I saw this really well edited frag movie of Counter-Strike Source. Like they used After Effects and everything. Like it was like professional tier. Like it was the craziest shit ever. And it used a Skillet song. So I thought it was so cool. And that's how I discovered the band too. And then I used their music in my Counter-Strike videos as well <laughs> after I got into them. <laughs> so funny how that works. Yeah, I started to listen to Sabaton before I listened to Skilla. Oh, way later. Again, that was way. I was already way into metal when I got into Sabaton. Skillet was before I got into metal stuff. I was probably an adult when I got into Sabaton, honestly. Yeah, probably. Maybe I listened to some songs before I was an adult. Like, you know, the finished ones, like White Death and shit. But when I fully got into the band, I was definitely an adult. Is metal and emo related? Well, there are some, like, sub-genres that are kind of combine the two, but I would say for the most part, they are fairly different. I never really had an emo band phase, honestly, but when I was in vocational school, in our friend group, that we, we had like this big group, oh, not big group, but there was like five or six of us, we always did everything together, and there was one girl in there as well, and she was big into all the emo stuffs, and she just, she always like blabbered on and on about the band, so I kind of learned about some of them via her as well, but yeah, it was never really my thing. She was always talking about stuff bands like, you know, Bring Me the Horizon and uh, 30 Seconds to Mars and whatever other bands were very popular. And I was like, bro, I'm li I, I, and I was like trying to lecture her about Iron Maiden. I was like, dude, boomer middle, let's fucking go, dude. And she's like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> so we were like not meshing really well musically. <laughs> hmm. Pretty funny, though. I haven't talked to her in, like, over 10 years, I think. Well, maybe not 10 years, but, man, it's been ages. Maybe I should message her again. She was fun. Cool, Fred. I don't even know what she does nowadays. In fact, I haven't kept contact with my friend group from vocational school, like all of them. I should ring all of them up at some point. <laughs> Say hi. Yeah, I probably should. Although for one of the friends, I'm actually kind of concerned for. I, I, I think that something bad may have happened. Because he was like the, you know, the, like the awkward one of the group. I think he had Asperger's, I think. He was a nice friend, though. But he was kind of weird sometimes. And the weird part is that he was a big gamer, of course, as well, like basically all of us were. And he was also like PC gaming masters and shit. Now, the, what makes me concerned is that ooh, not long ago, like maybe around Christmas, I happened upon like on his Steam profile and I noticed he, ha he hadn't been online for years. Which was kind of alarming to me, because he, uh, he always did so much on Steam. Like, either he got a new account, or I don't know what happened. Like, that's kind of scary. I don't know. I don't really have, like, proper contacts to him anymore besides Steam, so I don't know if I, how I, I would even be able to find him. Kind of scary. I hope nothing bad happened, though. I think all the others I kind of see on Steam regularly, though. Like, they still log in and, you know, play stuff occasionally, like from our friend group. But him, he kind of disappeared. Spoopy. Let's hope it's the new account theory, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Worst fear, he got a kid in no more personal time. I honestly, I, this might sound mean, but I don't think he would ever be in a relationship. I don't think he would be a person to ever be in a relationship, honestly. Hopefully he's doing good, yeah. I mean, he was still a good friend, though. 
Even if he was a bit weird at times. He was fun. He was a big dude too. He was like two meters tall. Like all, all, all of us others that were like around the same height, but he was like two meters. Even in vocational school. Before we were adults, by the way. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a low damage roll. Low roll <laughs> Viking DNA. Finnish is... Uh, f there's not much Viking stuff in Finland as uh, history or mythology, though. Really. Would be cool, though, but it's usually just the Scandinavian countries that were, like, you know, dealing with Vikings. I mean, I guess we kind of originate from the same, you know, people anyway, though. All right, we got Faker to bond five. Now everyone is back to fives. Yes, very nice. And I can just put whatever here. All right, time for to initiate more Stockholm syndrome and keep bonding someone. I've been trying to hit ten with as well. <laughs> of course, fun times. Going to a friend's funeral will never sit right with me. I hope I never have to. That would, that would fuck me up, honestly. That would be the worst. Like, it's already bad enough to go into, like, a funeral of a relative that was, like, you know, basically died of old age. Like, that, that still is very sad. But if it's, like, someone that was, like, like, is or was your good friend at some point, like, around your age as well, that, that's rough, dude. That's hella rough. Luckily, so far, I've avoided that. Never had to have, you know, attend funerals of any of my friends. And I hope it stays like that. Vikings traded with feds a lot. One of the uh, best preserved Viking swords was found in Finland. Whoa. Cool fact of the day. Large quantities of Viking stuff has been found here. Well, yeah, that definitely makes sense because, again, we're literally connected to these Scandinavian countries. Or at least, you know, Norway and Sweden, of course, so. Makes sense. And, dude, let's be real. Freaking Lully, you know, the guy that chopped Bishop Henry, he was definitely a Viking, right? <laughs> From all the depictions. <laughs> Damn, still no drops still. But hey, at least the MLB is guaranteed. I'm guessing this node has like a 2% rate or something, but... Just not happening. Everyone still thinks Vikings went around with horn helmets and shirtless. I mean, that's the, uh, you know, romanticized version of all the Vi Vikings, of course. I mean, I'm sure there were some of them like that, too, of course. But, you know, <laughs> it's more like a stereotype, if anything. What song is this? Oh, you can do exclamation point current song with no spaces if you want, you know, song info. There you go. Brain did it, did it for you. How nice. Sounds like modern metal. We definitely had some metal song requests today. Pretty cool. It's kind of rare, but I sometimes 
you know find some songs that i like from your from you guys requesting stuff i mean most of the songs i kind of already know or are songs that i don't really care too much about like they're not my taste per se maybe not bad songs but like maybe not songs i would like would fit my taste that well but there have, i think there have been some cases where you know i've discovered some nice songs from you guys requesting uh song requests Wait, this is called Bury the Cringe. Is it gonna be really bad? Hmm. Halloween Princess PTSD, yeah, really? I, I still, you know, remember that so vividly. Who's Bibo? Assume it's a VTuber. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. So this was the original composer thing you were talking about? Why? For this? Why? I don't get it. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. I must be missing something. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Is <laughs> a famous VTuber? Well... Hopefully not famous from their singing. <laughs> Otherwise, I have uh, questions. <laughs> Sounds like a disservice to the original. Well, it's probably made as a par like a like a satire anyway, so makes sense. Oh, her thing is shit posting. Okay, yeah, I get it. Then it makes sense. <laughs> they even made like a really poorly animated music video for this. I'm watching it on the second screen. <laughs> oh no. Can we skip this after the chorus? Yeah, I'll allow it because, you know, it's a nine minute song and we already had the full version of the normal one earlier. Sure. <laughs> this is actually cringe. Yeah, it's uh, it's something, all right. Oh, yeah, I guess I did at least sing this song partly in like a karaoke thing or something, Claudia. Yeah? I forgot about that. Well, there you go. Saved. Yo, it's a Shinsekai Yori song. Shinsuka Yori was pretty uh, good. I think it's been so long since I've watched it, but I remember liking it. You think it was one of the most disappointing anime? Really? Wow. I'm not sure if that is a hot take or what I just said. Holy. I thought it was pretty good, yeah. I feel like most people probably like it a lot, so maybe that is a hot take. I don't know. Or maybe, you know, confirmation bias. <laughs> the ED is better though. This is an ED. There's two EDs. There's no opening though. It's a very special anime. It has zero openings, but it has two endings. This included. Oh, 
horrible characters, terrible dialogue, but a lot of people like it. It's been so long since I watched it, so I can't really comment on that, if that's true or not, but yeah. I just remember vibing it. How does it have two EDs? Why not? Isn't that normal? I mean, most series that are longer than like 12 episodes have more than one, or one opening and ending. At least if they're new. If it's a sh series from the 80s, it might go like 100 episodes with one opening and ending. Times change. Is there 80s or 90s anime? It's like 2012 or 2011 or something, like early 2010s. It's an original by uh, A1 Studios. I think it's like the, it might be like the best A1 thing I've seen, honestly. Fall 2012, okay, I was pretty close, okay. It's a very, it's a deep show though. So if you're not into that, you will not care for it. But it, it's, it does a lot, like it can be really scary at times too. I think it has the horror tag. It's like a dystopian thing. It's, it's a coming of age story with a dystopian setting that gets pretty deep and even political at times. What's the title? It's Shin Sekaiori, there you go. Or From the New World, I think is the English title. Well, it's literally translated from the Japanese as well. So it's a, I, I think it's a good series, yeah. Is BL bait? I mean, there's a, there's bisexual characters too. Like, uh, there's a lot of horny people in this show. But it makes sense because of the uh, different social system that they have in the show. So, yeah, I guess things are pretty different. The world building was awesome. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I remember really liking it. It was like very ve most of it, maybe not most, but at least a lot of it was like show don't tell. But it, it did it pretty well from what I remember. Existential as well. Yeah, probably a good word to describe it too. And the ending was good. Yeah, the ending was good. It was dark, but it was good. The ending in particular, if you like a show with a good ending, then yeah. The ending was nice. Did I watch Game of Thrones, House of Dragons? I love Game of Thrones, but I haven't watched House of Dragons yet. <laughs> I know, it's very weird to say that. But uh, as much as the you know, later seasons of Game of Thrones suck, it's still one of my favorite shows of all time. Not just speaking about TV stuff, but everything I've watched, anime and everything included. It will always have a special spot in my heart. The first four seasons are a masterpiece. I love Game of Thrones. They're like the best TV ever. Yo, I'm sure it is, Igra, because you know, it doesn't take much to beat those later seasons. Hmm. Interesting. It wasn't still Dre. It was the Missile Knows Where It Is remix. <laughs> oh, it's a copy bust. No wonder it sounded familiar. Okay. <laughs> I watched Gravity Falls. I've heard about it, but I haven't watched it. I would say even more than the last two seasons or so of this. I think even season five already started to be very cracky. Like five, six, seven, and eight, they were all like, I mean, they kept getting worse and worse. And I think five is the first mediocre season. But one, two, three, and four, oof, fire, absolute fire. <laughs> what does this kind of fit the uh, rhythm though? <laughs> How about Rick and Morty? I was gonna check it out when it was new and everyone was hyping it up as one of the, you know, modern, really funny shows. But I never did, and then I never got into it later either. <laughs> I 
Oh wait, there's a season two of House of the Dragons coming this year. Oh shit. Honestly, maybe then I'll watch it. I can't say any promises, but that would probably give me like a good motivator. Because recency bias is very important, of course. The pickle meme ruined it. Yeah, I remember when that shit happened. It was so cringe, dude. All the stuff that people did. It was so cringe. Hmm, I think sooner than later we can hop into JP for a little bit so I can do all the uh, strength strengthening quests. Because not only do I want the buffs, I also want the quartz. Because, you know, we're getting a new Valentine's Servant soon. So it's good if I have more id stock so I hopefully don't have to spend any money. Because I'd rather spend money on my girlfriend for Valentine's. <laughs> you know, reasonable I would say. Hopefully. But you know, I'm still a content creator, so... Yeah. I haven't heard this Eve song before. Is this original? It's an original... Like MV. Okay. <laughs> Get her a five star serve it as a gift. <laughs> oh my. She probably wouldn't be all that excited about it. <laughs> uh. So yeah, oh yeah, speaking of which, she finished the Unlimited Blade Works anime uh, not long, like maybe a few days ago. And I think yesterday she watched the first Heaven's Feel movie as well already. Like she's kind of going through that stuff. Pretty cool. Make her watch the Dean anime. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, would be hilarious if she started playing FGO. <laughs> At the same time, it would be cool to have such a big shared interest. Because obviously FGO is a big part of, you know, what I do in my life and whatnot. But at the same time, I don't know if I want my girlfriend to play a gacha game. <laughs> mm. Would be mixed feelings. Recabed Carnival Phantasm. Uh, I would maybe do that later if she gets to the other works as well. <laughs> Bonding by gambling addiction. Very healthy and nice. Not today, Metzner, but I am streaming Star Rail tomorrow, and I'm still contemplating whether I'm not going to pull, but yeah, I'm definitely playing the game tomorrow, and might just do the, uh, might just do some rolls for her too, we'll see. I do kind of really want Sparkle, and then the, uh, supposedly a ride in face is coming too soon. Ooh, choices, choices, choices. Oh, it's a blue lock song. Well, football.
I just realized I left my uh, bedroom door open. I always close it before my stream. Wow, it's so dark. Look, all the secrets. All the literal skeletons in my closet. Think about that. <laughs> well, the darkness. Does this not give all uh, event materials? It does, yeah. It's everything. Points, materials. Is good. <laughs> Jax is trying to escape. <laughs> oh no. If he gets out, I'm ruined. The police are gonna come for my ass. <laughs> Ghost peeking out. Uh oh. You did close it, it wasn't open. Shut up, shut up. You're wrong. That's scary though. No, 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 no. I'm not hearing that. <laughs> Is already picking? Yeah, true, he is there. How f how scary and funny would it be if he actually was, like, right there on the doorway? Just staring. That would be very scary. To me, at least. Because that's not, not where he's supposed to be at. <laughs> uh. Hmm... You saw something? Shut up. No, you didn't. No, you did not. Mm -mm. Nope. The bathroom door peeking at you. You would not be able to see it from this angle, I'm pretty sure. Even if the door was open more. It's kind of interesting having my bathroom in my be connected to my bedroom. <laughs> it's nice during the night, though, I'll say that much. If I ever want to take a piss, it's easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all my plushies, dockies, bathroom doors, everything is peaking right now. Yeah, of course. Hey, Hermit, how you doing? Also, see ya, Cloud. Thanks for being here, dude. <laughs> You're late, but here you are. Hey, nice of you to drop by, though. How's your Wednesday? The hump day! Tier list wed. Well, the first one is uh, probably gonna happen on Sunday this week. Because uh, Valentine's probably gonna go live on Wednesday instead. But if it's on Sunday, then obviously it's the tier list is delayed, but it's probably gonna go live on Wednesday. So yeah, we will uh, commence. The yearly act, the annual activity on Sunday. I gotta get some, uh, I gotta prepare. I gotta get some, like, all kinds of, like, breath beds and, uh, like, cough drops shits. Maybe some nice drinks. Snacks. Because those streams are definitely gonna go always overtime. And they're gonna be, like, non-stop, <laughs> non-stop talking. <laughs> Words. Oh, I uh, used my buffs too early again. Whoops. It's okay, though. What if it goes live on Monday? Honestly, Monday would be better than Wednesday for me. Because then I wouldn't have to overlap at all with the, you know, my Valentine's plans. But it's definitely Wednesday, right? Surely. Wow, another Billy Joel song. We didn't start the fire. You're graduating today. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Oh, hey, congratulations. Big. Don't drink too much if you plan to. <laughs> Maybe get some nice food. 
how many anime I'm watching this season? I'm watching seven, which is a lot for me. For some of you guys, you're like, ha, se only seven? Are you even watching anything? <laughs> but seven is a lot to me. It's, it's like may what might be my highest ever, but definitely top three highest I've ever had on a season. Mostly because three of the shows I'm watching carried over from last season as well, so that doesn't help. They're like continuing on, so I would have less normally. I picked up a seventh one this week. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but I was interested enough and I did it. Okay. You're accustomed to the 9D++ on JP, <laughs> and then you only saw this one, and they were like, yeah, hope 9D++ drops tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure it will. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Free to the apothecary dies at overflow. Oh, you mean for the ones that continue? No, I mean, you got two of them, correct? I don't even know what overflow is, but yeah, I'm watching Free to the apothecary diaries. The third one is the remake of Captain Tsubasa season two, and it's a shit show. But I'm still watching it. Man, the production is so fucking bad on it, though. It's the one of the worst-looking anime I've ever seen. It's so sad. That's, they're treating that IP so badly. At least it has good songs. But man, it's, it looks terrible. It's, it's, it's atrocious to look at. It's like a slideshow. There's so little animation. They do everything they can to make as l little animation movement as possible happening. And it's a fucking football show. How are you gonna do a football match with like, like no animation, like no movement, uh, is uh, like, you see shots of like people kicking the ball, but it's like a still where the camera is slowly panning and then they just play a sound like, PAM, where they kick the ball. Like, it's so freaking bad, dude. It looks like trash. And the art, like, the, the worst part is you think that because there's so little animation, you think the, uh, the art style at least would look sick, right? Like, cause they don't have to animate much, but no, the, even the art looks bad. Like, it's like there's barely any animation, and when there is, it's like mediocre at best, and the art looks so bad. It's, it's such a disservice. Like, they changed studios between seasons, because the first season of the remake came out in 2018. That was done by David Productions. Yeah, the David Productions, the ones that did JoJo. It was pretty good. It wasn't amazing, but it was good. It was acceptable. It was adequate. But now, five years later, we got season two, finally, of the remake, done by Studio Kai, a studio I've never heard of before, and for a good reason. It looks like shit. Apparently they did some, they've done some other miscellaneous stuff like some earlier Uma Musume seasons and they changed the studio for that too, for the better. They should have done the opposite here. Anyway, let's jump into some JP action to do some buffs there. That's a lot of NA farm. Okay, got a lot of strengthenings to knock off. And get some quartz. Hey, it's a Reshkiko loading screen. I guess these are scripted nowadays, at least on your first login. They're usually like gotcha servants. With current banners. This season is really good. You're watching a lot of anime. Uh, to me, this season is like mid. I am watching a lot. Like maybe the most I've ever watched. But that's not because all the shows are like 10 out of 10. In fact, most of them are very mediocre. I'm just watching them because I got interested, I guess. But to me, this season is not that like, you know, crazy good. There's only maybe like three shows that I think are actually really good that I'm watching. Alright, this is my uh, sounds. Oh wait, you guys can hear this anyway. <laughs> but I might as well make it better for myself. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Watch Dungeon Meshi. Yeah, it, it's it's a bit tempting. It's, it's one of the big populars of the season, but I don't know. May, one, maybe I'll check it out when it's finished, if, I, if, if it still holds up really well. You know? Wait, who is this singing? This sounds like Mr. Fantastic to me, or at least the same guy singing, is it? Interesting. Sounds so much like him. It holds up in the manga, oh, okay. We can just Tiamat these up. Don't have to think about it. Sure thing, dude. 
I got my oh, uh, Super Bunny and Subban 10 yesterday, by the way. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Took me a long time before she's out all day, barely, but yeah, she's there now too. Japanese thought elves are a walking beam generator, and they were right. I mean, I feel like it's not really elf subs, but yeah, I guess, sure. Whatever works. Also, hey, Daryl, have a good sleep, my dude. Thanks for being here. See you tomorrow, man. Okay. Strengthening buffs city is real. They've been doing a lot of buffs recently, which is pretty cool. They have like these periods where they do like a lot of buffs and then they go quiet for a long time and then they do another period of buffs. Is what I've noticed late from the past years or so. Oh yeah, you guys can't hear the absolute way too dank uh, sound effects from Tiamat's MP. Like you don't even need the sound to be scuffed to, you know, think of that as pretty distorted. <laughs> it's always pretty loud. I'm gonna open this song and check it later. I'm thinking this might be the same singer as M Mr. Fantastic. I need to go check it later. Very cool. If it's not, I'll be hella surprised because it sounds exactly like him. He even does the high, same high notes at everything. Also, does who talk with the Star Rail Go Worker? I guess since you joined late, you're asking all the questions we were talking about earlier. <laughs> well, again, to recap, I don't think anything will come out of it, like anything like really significant. It's mostly going to be an interview. But, you know, I'm not opposed to the idea of maybe seeing like some servant verse characters in Star Rail. I doubt anything from Star Rail is going to come to FGO at least, but they, there is a maybe a minuscule chance that they could do it the other way around. You never know. But I assume it's mostly just going to be an interview. If they add Mashu playing. I doubt Mashu would be added. She would be the last servant they would add, right? They would add anyone over Mashu because she's literally the face of the game. They would not add her, right? Because she's like, you. She, she can't be separated from the master. That would be too much. Uh, that would be NTR. Huh? As much as that's hot, they wouldn't do that officially in the stories, though. Oh, it's Sea Moon. Well, <laughs> Nasu said Arya can't come to FGO because she's going to Star Rail. <laughs> Dude, Plushy would break everything. He would definitely start playing Star Rail for Arya. <laughs> I know you're obviously saying that as a joke, but that's that would be hilarious. Oh my. Yeah, maybe Sonic. Yeah, it hurts to Melty Blood for no reason. Yeah, but okay, I, I should have specified. Uh, in Melty Blood, you play as the characters, right? But in Star Rail, you play as the Trailblazer. So she would have to be a companion for another main character type, and that would be a big no-no. They can't replace the Musta, you know? So yeah, that's kind of different than Melty Blood, honestly. From what you guys say, still sucks at looping. Yeah, it probably doesn't change too much. It's funny, when I posted the buff breakdown, someone po uh, cause in the video I said, she, I, I doubt she's going to be able to black rail loop. But then uh, someone in the comments said, uh, that funnily enough, x I just posted a video for black rail looping. And then I opened the video, I was like, yeah, it's Summer Kuro, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, literally anyone can do black rail looping if you want to go deep enough into a setup. So, not really the best argument, honestly. But 
I digress. Man, this will definitely blast this ass. <laughs> Put Neko, Ark, and Star, and no one will question it. <laughs> they, they, they couldn't do it because they're, they're too afraid to do unconventional character, um, you know, um, body type, sadly. As much as I think it would be hilarious, and honestly, I would be okay with it, they will not stray from, uh, you know, their preset character body types, which I think is a real shame in Hoyo games, honestly. I mean, sure, if you like beautiful boys and girls, you will never complain, because that's all the characters are, but I would love to see some variety, something unique, something that breaks the formula, like something who, someone who looks completely different to everyone else, like, you know? But it's always like the, the same X amount, like three body types for the guys and the girls, and then everyone is super handsome or super beautiful. So at, after a certain while, maybe it gets a bit boring to me. But you know, I mean, obviously if I see like a design I like, I'm still simping, of course, because I'm a monkey, simple brain, you know. But I would love to see something unique. Something cool and unique. I guess the most unique thing they do is like, you know, the lollies and the Shota characters. And that's about it. But at, at, after a certain while, even they get like kind of homogenized into the, uh, you know, body types. So, yeah. Enjoy your lunch, Herbert. Oh, the gacha command is actually up to date. I wasn't sure. Shout out to whoever mod uh, edited that. I thought it would still say Genshin or something. Well. Yeah, I, I don't play that much gacha. I mean, I still play quite a bit of gacha every day, of course. But games, like, number-wise, is not even... It's not that bad anymore. It's quite manageable. And honestly, I am I feel like I'm happier because of it. I have more time for myself and other things I want to do in life. I feel like uh, right now it's pretty good, you know? I'm not saying, you know, you will guaranteed get happier if you drop your gacha games or whatnot, but if you're someone that's like, you know, playing like a crazy amount of gacha games and it feels like overwhelming at times, I, I mean, you could try, maybe. Drop one of them. Maybe, maybe not permanently, immediately, but like, try, like, take a break from one of them, you know? Especially if it's one of the ones you maybe just like log in or something. Just take a break. Try it out. Maybe you'll like it too. Machine seeing any visual ch body changes from biking? I think I am, yeah. I think my legs are starting to look better, and uh, overall, uh, even my torso is looking a bit more fit, yeah. I mean, that's to be expected with cardio, right? Because, you know, you kind of, you know, lose from everywhere. Oh, is this song, like, scuffed or something? Oh, shit, dude. Okay, um, fuck, I'll pause it for a second. Awkward. <laughs> sexy. Maybe not like a sexy body yet or anything like that, but, you know, whenever I look at myself in the mirror now, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of content. I mean, I obviously want to keep improving and, you know, get an actual maybe sexy body at some points, but, you know, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Well, there's one of today's buffs. Very nice. Oh, I pressed the volume button. I meant to take a screenshot. It's hard when the phone is on the stand. <laughs> Confidence is out of the fight, yeah. I used to have, like, I mean, I still kind of have, like, you know, what, what's the word called? Like, when you're kind of ashamed of your own body. I had a lot of that, obviously, when I was way more fat. So I still feel like a lot of that is, you know, because of, like, trauma or something. When, obviously, my body looks way better now than it did, like, some years ago. But yeah, it's, uh, I'm starting to, like, you know, feel less and less of that bad feeling. Massive changes from your top weight? Yeah, really, yeah. Big drop. 
and while I mostly do cardio right now and not like actual, you know, uh, weightlifting, um, I feel like I'm still st starting to feel some muscle, especially in my legs. So while obviously cardio is not the best or not even that great at all for building muscle, right? But, you know, I'm, I, 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 my legs are feeling better. Body dysmorphic disorder. Yeah, it's dysmorphia. Yeah. I think that's a good word. That's probably the word I was looking for. Song that, yeah, I had to pause it because the sound quality was scuffed. Uh, we've had some audio issues lately. Let me see. I'll, I'll, I'll resume it again. And you tell me if it's still broken. It's fine now. Okay, so it was just a momentary one again. Yeah, I, I will have to do a lot of changes to the audio setup, sadly. Because this is still clearly not going to be consistently working well, as sad as it is. It would have been the easiest solution, which I would have preferred, but, you know, sometimes the easy solution just doesn't work. Oh, well. Okay, it's a doggo. Oh, wow, is that rage against the machine? Damn, dude. We had some interesting songs today. In a good way, actually. Good old punk stuff. Oh, let me enable the TTS again. Hopefully it's not scuffed. Even though I haven't played extra in 10 years, the mobs in CCC doesn't pose any problems. It's like riding a bike. Yeah, I mean the combat is still pretty pretty primi primitive. Even in CCC, it doesn't really change much at all. <laughs> the story is way better, but sadly the uh, gameplay is like... Kind of dog water, I'm not gonna lie. Is the game uh, audio okay? Now you can hear the amazing Tiamat MP, which is always going to be way too dank, even without audio issues. You pick guild not knowing it was easy mode. Yeah, it's so much easier. I assume a lot of people do it with it without knowing, yeah. Like, it's, it's just a steamroll. But, you know, at least it's lore accurate, I guess. Yeah. But honestly, I, don't, I feel like you shouldn't feel bad, you know, for not having, you know, the battles be difficult. Because the, the combat is boring and dog water anyway, you know? Like, why feel the need to challenge yourself in a combat that's not even fun to begin with? Well, it's not really, like, terror. It's not unfun, but it's, like, so bland and boring with the system it has. It's fine for now. Let's see if it lasts until the end of the stream. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a tall order. We're gonna rewatch Jack's playing Scary Base. Yo, that was funny as hell, though. That was funny. But he fucking got scared so bad. <laughs> oh, it's Karma. I guess it makes sense. It's like a, it's a red face buff, right? I get it. What are they gonna do with the new extra game if that ever comes out? Well, hopefully they change it, but I don't have high hopes. I mean, like you said, we don't even know if the game ever comes out. I feel like at any day we could expect a message of them saying, Okay, the project's cancelled. <laughs> I would not be even surprised at this point anymore. 
I still think it's gonna come out, but I also would not be surprised if they post a message saying it's cancelled. Because it's been so quiet ever since the announcement. There's been only like small snippets of any kind of information. And it's been... How, how many years now? Since they announced the remake? Like, I don't remember. It's been so long, I think. Uh, crazy. Hey Crobat, how you do it? You still do react content? Yeah, occasionally, yeah. If anything, we could probably do another meme review in the near future. They're kind of fun to do occasionally. <laughs> Is this like Florida Bad, the song? Pretty amusing. Time to blast Ishtar. You feel unfair for Ishtar since they don't buff her? Mm -hmm. I mean, they have buffed her though, she has an MP buff. But yeah, they could definitely remove the RNG like they did with uh, Eresh as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I was just giving an example of some React content I've been doing, you know? In the recent months, Crobot. Speaking of which, that's funny you should ask that, because uh, I kind of have a new sponsor locked in. It's for next month, but it's basically going to be me reacting to stuff, which is interesting for a sponsor thing, right? So stay tuned. Uh, ooh. <laughs> And then Kaiser will edit it. It's gonna be funny, hopefully. A rush buff, uh, let's go. And it's a gacha game. Shocking. And this time it's not even a game that's, you know, super vague. I mean, it's not a, like a crazy well known game, but I feel like if you've been following gacha news, of the past months, you've probably heard of the game. The game is gonna get like a big update at the end of the month and th that's why I'm doing my content at the start of the next month. Because they really wanna feature the new stuff, I guess. They're planning ahead. I guess this is Neptunia music, right? Whoa. No, it's, it's, it's a game that's already out. I think a lot of you guys are guessing games that haven't, been, uh, haven't come out yet. I mean, it's a new game though, but it is out. <laughs> Star Trek, yeah. We're doing it again! Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna schedule a YouTube live for the... Uh I think I, I may have mentioned this earlier, or, or, earlier, but yeah, I'm going to schedule a YouTube live for the um, Sunday stream, the Valentine's reveal. So we can do that before the Sunday stream. 
which is the tier list one. So that's going to be a busy day. Wow. Imagine that. The old Yoko upgrade system is kind of forgotten, do you think? Well, I mean, I, that's kind of what happens when they drop an entire big system, you know? I'm sure it's not forgotten, like, people probably, you know, do stuff with it, but... It's hard to, like, talk about it because there's nothing new about it, really, <laughs> for a while. It's just there. It's just a big, you know, constant project. Although, ironically... I still haven't done really anything proper with it. And funnily enough, I still do my dailies in Ordeal Call. I just haven't started like maxing any tree yet. I could probably fully max a tree instantly if I wanted to. Although I might be lacking some of those challenge quest items. Because I haven't done most of those in the, uh, or the Bleached Earth space. I've mostly just been spending my uh, daily currency on it. Uh, they don't have the- do they have the Alter Ego one yet? Because that, that's the, probably the one I'm gonna get on JP, because I have so many grilled Alter Egos. Do we have an Alter Ego one? I forgot. No, yeah, that's what I thought. So I'll probably just keep waiting for that. This reminded you to do grail casting? Yeah, get your castings in. It's already the- uh, we're already one week into Feb, so if you're playing JP a day or whatever, and you like grail casting, do your casting. You can do it again. It got unlocked with OC, what do we do? Oh, shit! You know what, I should probably look into that then. <laughs> Considering how many grilled alter egos I have. Ah, yeah, I guess that makes sense, Alex, yeah. Big blasting. The only class we don't have yet is Ruler, Avenger, and Pretender. I have no idea. You might be right, though. Game way too dank. Are you saying that because of Tiamat's MP specifically, or is the game, like, actually the game audio, like, scuffed right now again? Oh, the game audio? Okay, I'll just mute it again. That's fine. There you go. <laughs> you think both, yeah. <laughs> what is your audio? Well... After I got the new PC, it's been a bit scuffed. I don't know, I think it's because of the uh, new audio setup I'm trying for OBS. Because the old one I had on my old PC was really bad. So I was hoping to get off easier, but it seems like even though, yes, this is an easier solution, it, it's creating some problems that are not intended in that the audio gets really, like, distorted sometimes. Like, it's completely randomly happened sometimes, and then for an X amount of time, sometimes it's like two seconds. Sometimes it can last for like ten minutes. So, yeah, who knows? What's the Star Trek ad? It's a sponsor, bro. Also, food. Do exclamation point star and download the game and do those things. Do it. Do it right now. Do it. Uh. <laughs> then I get paid more. Yes. Very nice. It's free. You can do it on PC or mobile. How amazing. <laughs> you can support me. You can put more money into my pockets for free. If you have some extra time, that is. The first two things in the milestones, the level 5 and the second ship, you can easily do those in less than an hour. With no prior knowledge. Easily. The level 10 one is a bit longer. But yeah, those first two, is a very, they're very easy to do. If you download the game, just follow the missions they give you. Just keep doing all the missions and use the free currency you get to speed up all the uh, developments. And boom, you're done in no time. Hey, it's Dantes.
it's warning me that you're using coins that are under four stars or above, but it's double cuts. So, yeah, it's uh, so. No, it's not because you have a Grailed one. I had that too earlier when I casted by Grails. It's because he's a limited servant. They just didn't include that in the text, so it, it's a bit misleading. So that's why it says that. It says that for limited servants and for, like, gold servants. But it just doesn't mention that, you know, in some rare cases you can have a limited servant that's not gold. So, yeah. I was a bit confused about it too. But yeah, um, it happened to my non-grailed uh, coins of Nobukatsu as well. But don't get scared. It's just an issue on there and it's not like you're accidentally destroying something bad. Oh, dude, I think I had three more buffs left, right? So I can get another 10 milestone done for another 10 quarts. Amazing, all the Valentine's funds. Is there a huge difference to go to 120? What do you mean by huge difference? Sato buff. Oh, I had two more buffs. Fuck, I'm one buff short. They need to do another buff. <laughs> or I need to get a servant that I don't have who has a lot of buffs. Then I get more quartz. Wait, there's a bunch of missions that I can claim. What is this? Oh, right, there were new, like, quartz missions. I think these were, like, added today as well, maybe. Speaking of free quartz. Okay, that's bleached earth quests. I can do those when the daily is reset. Okay, dude, hey, thanks for the free quartz. Wow. Oh, Arturia has two buffs. Oh, you're right. I forgot. Obviously, multi-buffs work too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I'm good then. I'm good. Oh, my God. Solved easy bonus. Should use these on my alter ego tree, right? <laughs> yeah. What dailies am I missing? Hmm. Defeat Earth Attribute Servants. And then Good Alignment Servants. Okay. What's the new buff? Uh, it's not... Arturia Saber doesn't have any new buffs. It's just because I got my first copy recently with the uh, Stay Night Celebration. I, believe it or not, I did not have her before after playing this game for seven years now. Actually, yeah, in this month, February, it will be seven years I've had JP. Oh, yeah, it was February of uh, 2017 when I started. Wow, seven. Cool stuff, man. <laughs> I'm proud that I'm old now. <laughs> More like I've accepted it, you know? When you guys get as old as I do, you will basically accept it too. You know, it happens. Wow, okay. <laughs> Dead beats. Yeah. <laughs> Clever. How dare you don't have the iconic servant? Well, I never rolled for her, and she's never spooked me. I've gotten three Alteras, but zero Arturias and Mordrids somehow. Funny how that works. You just got done using your pods? <laughs> it's fine. If you're talking about the missions, they last for a while anyway. How long will I stream today? We're probably wrapping up soon. But let's see. I might finish these buffs, actually. This is pretty fast anyway. B -b 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 bonus. This is so overkill. No, I'm saying... Uh, what? How did you... Mordred? Did you even hear what I said? How did you think what I just said means Mordred getting her is a bad thing? What? Unless you're talking to someone in chat. I said I haven't gotten Arturia or Mordred at all yet. And then you said, so getting Mordred is a bad thing? You must have misheard me or something. I'm confused. I mean, I'd gladly take a Mordred on JP too. Like, yeah, I'd take one. But she wasn't an option. You misheard the first part. Yeah, okay. I, I Obviously, I mean, I would gladly take one. Why not? <laughs> so the rumor about the collab with Honkai is real? Uh, I wouldn't go that far, no. 
<laughs> I think it's mostly just going to be an interview. And I'd be surprised if anything for either game comes out of it. And if something comes to a game, it's definitely Star Rail getting some Fate stuff. Probably not FGO getting any Star Rail stuff. And even that, I think, is very unlikely. But you know what? Never say never. Anything can happen, I guess. Am I going to wait for the extra remake to play Extella? No, I have already played extra. I need to finish CCC first. I played OG extra. <laughs> they put Shinji in Star Rail playing. Oddly specific, but you know what? Hey, don't let your dreams be memes. Can Mordred get a new variant? I think it's likely. They could always do a new Mordred if they wanted to. She only has two, right? Summer and OG Saber. Yeah, they could easily do a new Mordred if they wanted to. I mean, she's pretty popular. Yeah, it'll be more dread. Get it? Ah, uh, funny. F -f 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 funny. Did I forgot Betty Alter? Did I forgot to add to the game? I mean, she might. We'll see. Who knows? You never know, dude. Is it Kiryu? Yeah, this is definitely Kiryu singing. Avenger Mordred. Shouldn't it be the opposite? Shouldn't it be Avenger Arturia that absolutely is anti Mordred? I feel like it should be the opposite, if anything, because Mordred is the one who's the traitor. <laughs> it's Ivan Yachu. Gotta keep it uh, franchise friendly. Yeah, I guess Fergus too, yeah. Judgment. Your MB is a self wrong mini ad stab, yeah, true. Mordred Alter, girly, polite, and loves her dad. <laughs> Yo, a level 10, what? Yo, that's crazy. Hey, 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 shout out to whoever just did that. Wow, I wasn't sure, uh, sure if there was going to be any more level 10s before the campaign is over, but hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you for increasing my pay. Wow. And again, level 10 definitely takes a bit longer than those first two as well. So much appreciated. Bam, bam, bam. Goodbye, Jack. <laughs> interesting, dark, interesting. Did I start Kiwami? I did start the first rebag, yeah. I've done like two sessions on it so far, pretty sure. Oh yeah, there was two more buffs, right, because of Arturia having two. <laughs> I forget. We were just talking about it earlier. But yeah, there's the uh, for there's a uh, another scent buff. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do that with natural AP or something. Okay, I'm kind of getting hungry for dinner anyway. But yeah, um, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have. I, I already have seven multis for Valentine's, but maybe I can make it eight multis before uh, the banner is out. And then I think I have like what nine tickets or something. Yeah, we got nine tickets too. Look at that. Hopefully that's enough to nab me a nice new Valentine's servant. Oh yeah, gotta be optimistic, you know. I mean, that'll be interesting food. 
Anyway, speaking of food, I think I'm probably gonna call it for today. But you know what? Is Burbo still alive? Oh my god. Should we raid Burbo? That's funny. Let's do it. Frick it. Let's do a Burbo raid. But I'm gonna hit, get some dinner after this. So, yeah, if you want to join the raid, he, apparently Burbo is playing um, FQNA right now. Reading the uh, Valentine's story. So hey, you can we can go say hi, and if you're a fellow subscriber, you can give sub licks as well when the raid happens, okay? But yeah, I'm pretty happy with today's stream, minus the audio issues, sadly, I'm gonna try and fix it, but yeah, we'll see if I end up being able to do anything about it. Ho let's just hope it gets better, if or I can find a fix for it. But yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with some Star Rail, maybe even some Gacha, you never know. But hopefully a lot of cool and fun new content anyway. Check YouTube for the, uh, spon not sponsored, the uh, buff breakdown video that I posted earlier if you missed it. And uh, for today, thanks for the subs, the resubs, the gifted sub subs, the bits and the tips and the follows. And most importantly, thank you so much for being here. And thank you everyone who, as again, is helping with the sponsor campaigns. And you can do it offline as well if you want to, if you have time. Very cool. And let's go say hi to Burbo. Have a good rest of your week. Wednesday, Thursday, raise your hats. And uh, yeah, hope to see you tomorrow. It'll be so...